Hello, everybody, and welcome to GDQ Hot Fix. We are here with The First Step. I'm your host, Keezeron, and I'm joined, as always, by my Kingdom Hearts loving partner here, Jay Hobbs. Hobbs, <laughs> you're close to PB, right? Is that what you're saying? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In this, in yeah. this game, I, I got uh, pretty close to PB this morning, which is pretty fun. Uh, I just, nice. you know, I got to keep up the streak of stomping you in every one of these. Definitely yeah, no so close matches whatsoever. Not none that were just none, handed to me. <laughs> none at all. Nope. Nope. If we go off of the official record of this month <laughs> slash month and a half of Kingdom Hearts versus Pokemon, I have won nothing. <laughs> a stark contrast to every other time we've done the Kingdom Hearts versus Pokemon, where I've won everything. <laughs> yeah, I was I was overdue. <laughs> But yeah, on that topic, folks, if you have no clue what's going on here, first off, we are the first step. We are here to show you all at home that if you want to get into speedrunning, it's really just as simple as playing through the game fast. You don't have to practice frame perfect tricks, study the world record, spend hours upon hours glitch hunting to do any of that. You just have to pick up the game and, you know, have the intention of going fast. And we figured what better way to show you all how to do it than sticking with our big series that we're known for, Hobbs being Kingdom Hearts and me being Pokemon, and just kind of pitting each game against each other just to show you further that if you want to go fast and you're a little intimidated by starting alone you can always grab a friend and it doesn't even have to be the same game yeah really doesn't and also to show everybody out there that pokemon and kingdom hearts are just the same game uh it's as true. We, we've, we've always we've always said <laughs> we've known we've known this for years it's basically just pokemon and then pokemon with mickey <laughs> yeah oh uh. So what, what will you be doing for us today, Hobbs? So today, uh, today we have a very weird mix of, of categories and games and stuff for you all um, because it was hard to match some of these up. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so what we're doing is I'm going to be playing Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix specifically, any percent on PC. This was my first speed game. This is, this is my bread and butter. Wow. Um, not on PC back then. It was on PS3, but... Uh, yeah, this is my first speed game, so it's really fun to, to revisit it and see like how much I remember and all that. Uh, and then following this, to add a little bit of extra time, I'm going to be doing Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2. Uh, wait, hold on. Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep, A Fragmentary <laughs> Passage. Any percent. <laughs> Bless you. Um, that one I'm going to be running on PS5. That one... I don't know as well, um, but I've been learning and it's it's been fun, if not frustrating at some times, but it's got some cool movement and stuff in it. How about you, Keys? Well, I am hovering over Pokemon Scarlet right now. I'm going to be playing the new Pokemon games that came out, what, like three, four months ago? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be doing Pokemon Scarlet. And the cool thing about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is there's multiple categories for it, much like other Pokemon games, but not in the same vein. So Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have three different storylines. And then once you complete all three, you have like an end game story or whatever. Uh, I'm only going to be doing two of them. And specifically, I'm going to be doing the non-traditional ones. I will not be doing the Victory Road story, which is the typical Pokemon story of beat eight gym leaders and go defeat the Elite Four. Instead, I will be doing the Path of Legends, which involves fighting the big Titan Pokemon. So they're the big bosses of this category. Um, and then I will immediately follow that up with Starfall Street, which utilizes a new mechanic in this game called the Let's Go feature, where you send out a bunch of Pokemon in the wild without actually getting into a battle. And it'll be really interesting to see how this works out as a combined route, because one, the routes are separated for a reason. You want to use different <laughs> mons. But uh, two, I have zero experience with doing Starfall other than one randomizer and one first playthrough. <laughs> so I will be coming up with a general strategy on the fly of what I think will work best and it will probably be a, a flaming disaster, but that's okay. <laughs> well, it won't be a flaming disaster. You won't have Flamingo, but... Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Flamingo, I mean... <laughs> the greatest Mon of all time. <laughs> but yeah, it should be a good time. This, this is going to be a fun one. Don't know how close it'll be. We'll see one way or another. <laughs> you know, I, I do like how typically you would expect after the first episode, we'd get a little more into the groove and like, okay, this, this race is going to be closer. This race is going to be even closer. Well, no, because every single race has gotten further and further apart. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really curious to see how this goes. It's been tough too with us, us like learning them in, uh, uh, in different amounts of time and stuff like that to try to like line things up. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, for anybody who 
uh, is you know just kind of loves GDQ and wants to keep up with the channel. We have some announcements for you all. Frost Fatales 2023, the uh, prize submissions for it are open from now until Monday, February 20th. The event is coming up very soon. It starts a week from uh, Sunday, I believe. A week from Sunday. Uh, yes. Maybe a week from Saturday? Ooh, I, I'm blanking, but it starts next weekend. Uh, so please check it out. And you can use exclamation point prizes in chat if you're here in, uh, live on Twitch with us and you want to submit some prizes for the event. And uh, very big news just announced today. Games Done Quick is returning to PAX East, this time in 2023, on March 23rd to the 26th. We're looking for some marathon-style speedruns to showcase at the event, so please consider, if you are a runner of really any game, um, to consider submitting for that. Uh, game submissions are going to be open from now until February 26th, so pretty short timeline, but you know, kind of a short turnaround. Uh, use exclamation point packs in Twitch chat in order to get a link to submit your runs. Exciting stuff. Exciting mm -hmm. stuff. I'm very excited. I'm going to be at that. So if anybody wants to say hi, definitely come say hi and say that you watch TFS because it warms my heart every time. <laughs> yes. We, we, we like hearing that. We like to know that we're successful at the show we're doing. Also, sorry to the viewers if you've noticed I've like reached towards my camera like two or three times. There's like a hair that keeps floating around. <laughs> <laughs> it's driving me nuts. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm well, sitting here all ready to go if you are. Yeah, I uh, so I don't really know the best point of of start for my like I know when it officially starts, but like loading in like this, I, I'm just gonna be paused at the menu here where we're supposed to start. I don't know if that's the official start time. That's how I'm gonna do it though. Okay. So I'm I'm also good whenever you are. All right, then I'll go ahead and count us down. We'll get this whole thing kicked off. Three, All right. two, one, go. All right. All right. So the nice thing about these these uh, like subcategories for this game is it starts past oh, an hour-long tutorial. I, I just saved three and a half minutes on my PB. Thank you. All right, uh, go ahead. Wait, wh what? <laughs> I told you you could skip the opening cutscene now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, okay, I was just saying that we get to start where we have our bike, which, you know, is this giant ancient dinosaur. Um, also, if anyone's wondering why I'm doing Scarlet over Violet, um, fun fact, uh... Scarlet's faster than Violet because of the ride Pokemon, mostly. <laughs> it's really uh, dumb. It's so funny. It produces funny. particles. That's, that's it. That's why. It produces particles. It <laughs> lags the game. I knew. I knew Coridon was better. I, I, I initially liked Maridon more because mm -hmm. I was like, ooh, sleek, futuristic. But then I just, I don't know. You, you slap a smile on Coridon. His derpy little face is just... <laughs> and the way he runs, too. Like, his, his little things yeah. <laughs> just keep... All right, so um, for me, what's going on so far, I have kind of the two little tutorial area called Dive to the Heart to do. Um, that was Shadows 1, which went in like two combos and a parry, so not bad, not bad. You generally want that in two combos if you can. Uh, I took the staff and dropped the shield uh, because magic is going to be extremely useful for us in this run. It's going to take us a while to be able to, to really have a lot of magic, but it is going to be very useful. Um, and your dream weapons that you pick affect your starting stats in this game, and also they affect your the order in which you unlock abilities. So we're going to get some really good abilities from starting with the staff. Uh, we don't really need defense, so we drop defense for a little bit less HP. Because we definitely don't want to hurt our strength at all. Oops. I'm also going to be taking the Dawn route for this run, uh, which basically just means that I'm going to level up to the lower levels a lot faster, and since we're not going to be doing, you know, grinding to level 100 or anything like that, that's going to work out better for us for this run. But fun fact, we actually used to use Night Route for a long time. We thought that it was uh, it was actually more efficient for us based on when the breakpoints happen. Meanwhile, on my end, you see me kind of running around a little bit. You also notice the uh... If you haven't noticed yet, I'm doing a neat little trick that's never been done in video games before called BLJ. Um, it helps me climb <laughs> yeah. up these cliffs and access areas I'm not supposed to access yet. So I picked up a Carbos on accident. Um, I picked up Grass Knot, which is not a TM I'm supposed to have already. I'm going to pick up a couple of candies. Um, the Mon that we're going to use specifically for the Path of Legends is the Cat, Frigatito. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of happy people with that. But uh, <laughs> yeah. 
I'm just running around picking up some candies. Accidentally running into an encounter here. That's not good. I had a good uh, demonstration of why shadows are... Why I've been saying this every week, that shadows are the worst enemy for Kingdom Hearts speedrunning, period. Uh, and now I'm going to put on eight power-ups because uh, I'm playing on beginner mode, which oh. is the fastest oh. difficulty for this game. And... Uh, beginner mode starts with eight power ups, eight defense ups, and four AP ups. For a long time, we actually put on both the power ups and the defense ups, and we just sold the AP ups. But now uh, I'm actually skipping the defense ups, which saves me just a little bit of time, but also means I'm significantly more able to die in the early game. Or, well, just in the whole game. Meanwhile, I am struggling to get a couple of these jumps, but that's okay. Uh, that is not the correct item. Uh, let's see. Yeah, come on. All right. I'll pull up my map. My first boss is down. It's just I... four combos with the air, with the uh, the power ups. I'm supposed to go over there. Okay, that's what it is. I, I kind of confused myself a little bit. I'm not 100% comfortable with the the map of this game yet because this is definitely not the Pokemon game I played the most. <laughs> but all those raids we did. Well, you know, those were fun. Those were fun. I really enjoyed those raids. I'd like to do those again. Yeah. I'm still down whenever we want to do another star challenge. Yeah. And this should be All right. So I'm going to be running around on Destiny Islands for a while. I got to pick up a, a bunch of just items for a little, like, kind of list. Um, some of them I can't quite get yet like the fish that I was just walking past I can't actually pick up yet which is unfortunate because we go right past them here but we have all these just kind of creative ways to get to each next item trying to skip uh, ladders as much as possible skipping ledge grabs things like that look my Sprigatito evolved already no fights needed wow <laughs> Yeah, so the candies that we pick up, we pick up a medium experience candy and a large experience candy, and it should bump me to 26 immediately. Pretty nice. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> that is extremely fast. All right, now so I'm going to actually go ahead and make my way to the first Titan, so I'm actually going to make some pretty good progress. Nice. I got to get my uh, three fish here. Thankfully, I didn't start swimming, so that's good. And then run to the secret place for a mushroom and a cutscene. It's so weird to be explaining this game because I haven't done that in like seven years. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not that no. long, but it's been a while since I ran this. Boy, howdy, let me tell you how I keep running into a bunch of wild Pokemon on accident. <laughs> Um, someone was asking in chat what the difference between Final Mix and the original game is. There's actually a lot of differences. Um, basically, think of it kind of like a director's cut. They originally released the Final Mix version for Japan only. Um, it had English voice acting, but Japanese text. Uh, and it was, it kind of has a lot of um, gameplay tweaks to like the combat, various values. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I need to, this is very important. I need to name my raft. He's oh no! Sucks. Ah, uh, okay, he got go. me. <laughs> oh no! I gotta name my gummy I, ship. He blends in. That's not fair. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a dusty area and there's a yellow Pokemon. He blended in. <laughs> but yeah, Final Mix adds a couple cutscenes as well, um, and change adds some abilities. It, uh, like I said, changes just a lot of like tuning of things, like various Keyblade stats and whatnot. Um, and adds in a, uh, a secret boss as well. Not something we're going to be doing in this run, but uh, that's not the highest ladder grab, but that's fine. I need to win this race against Riku because it will give me a pretty stone, which I can sell later. Uh, and it's also just faster to win a race, as you might expect by, you know, the nature of it being a race. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. That's <Sounds> fake. <laughs> Yeah, so on, on the way to uh, our first Titan, we're going to fight as Cloth. Uh, Shocker. Honestly, one of my favorite favorite <laughs> new Pokemon. But um, on the way, there's a few candies to pick up. You also saw me pick up a mint. So 
Mints change your natures. To explain natures like really quickly, they give you plus 10% growth on one stat and minus 10% on another. Um, you can actually change that at will in this game, and there's a decent amount of mints just lying around on the ground, so we're actually not going to stay our same nature the whole time, which I think I'm the neutral, quirky nature, I think it is. Oh. I didn't quite push that rock far enough. So now I have a little RNG uh, segment. I got to get two coconuts from this tree. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another. That was pretty good. It was like three and five, I think. All right, so us going out of the way to grab Grass Knot, really important. Grass Knot does damage based on weight, and this is a stone a stone titan, I'll have you know. <laughs> very, very big. So we one-shot phase one, and we're going to one-shot... Oh, my God. Uh, we're going to two-shot phase two. One shot's a range on my stats. It's like when we got the Flamigo when we did our uh, star challenge. Yeah. We just low-kicked this. Which is still great. I I, I love flamingo. <laughs> it's it's just a flamingo. <laughs> Not even anything special. All right, I lost a little bit of time for naming keys. Uh, na ah. Naming the the ship key sucks. Oh, only only barely though, because I must have had some time save from my run earlier mm -hmm. today. <laughs> I will say, once we start getting near the end of this run, uh, this run wears out my hands quite a bit. There's a lot of mashing square to dodge roll and a lot of mashing X to attack. Uh, and so I might start faltering by the end, given that I already did a run earlier today. But that's why I actually got a soda. <laughs> keep me keep me energized. No, my speed fell. That sounds like a stat that you want. Yeah. But I mean, I'm I'm high level, and this thing's a big giant crab. I don't think it's a problem. Okay, that's good. And cloth down one boss. Nice. I'm heading to my so second. The Path of Legends is the fastest of the three like subcategories. It clocks in at about an hour if you know what you're doing. I I do not necessarily, but I should be pretty close to that. Starfall Street is the second longest at about an hour and a half, and then uh, Victory Road, which is the traditional eight gyms and whatnot is uh, like two hours and 20, something like that. Yeah, we were originally going to do Victory Road and uh, and Path of Legends, but it turned out the timing was going to line up better for these two. Also, your tweet <laughs> wouldn't have been as good. <laughs> All right, Dark Side 2 down. We're going nice. to really take out the early bosses quite quickly because of all those power-ups. It will start to kind of even out as we get later, but if all goes well, like, well, I mean, everything should go according to plan. Uh, everything that we, um, like, uh, pretty much most of the stuff we're fighting in the late game even, we're going to be getting damage capped on. We kind of route around staying right at that cap. Once we get to the late game. Uh, you're all going to see me after this cutscene and everything's done and I start resuming gameplay again. You're going to see me pick up items and probably pick up the wrong ones. There are a lot of items on the ground. I don't know where they are, but the good news is picking them up doesn't really lose me time because you don't have to stop to pick up the item in this game. It's pretty nice. I mean, we already have like a Great Ball and like a, a revive and something that I'm not <laughs> supposed to pick up because I didn't remember which item ball was what, but it didn't really slow us down, so that's nice. You were just getting some stuff to sell later if you needed to. <laughs> yeah, that's... You know, <laughs> I, I will have to sell some stuff later because apparently Sprigatito is not the way to go for for uh, <laughs> Starfall Street. I should I should have just stuck with Flamigo, but alas, here we are. Don't jump backwards, you jerk. Okay. So I had to kill um, th this part of the game. They just basically wa want you to wander around Traverse Town for a while, and then eventually you run into this fight with Leon. Um, here's, I think, one of the final mix exclusive cutscenes, by the way. Uh, but what you actually have to do is just defeat five shadows, um, defeat five heartless, and it will. That's what will prompt Leon once you come back out of the accessory shop. Kind of tempted to get a safety elixir here. 
just in case. Too late. I'm not getting it. <laughs> you know, I, I was looking because I mentioned that maybe I could one-shot the cloth without taking a second turn. I should have gone for it because it was incredibly favorable. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm a fool. Uh, okay, so I need to kill three soldiers here, and unfortunately I just messed up doing it quickly, but that's fine. Uh, I need just a little bit more experience in this early portion in order to get a strength up after um, this next wave of soldiers that we're forced to fight. That way I've got it for my next boss guard armor. Nice. I now have the dash ability. Oh, Basically, I have a mock bike. I went the wrong way and I fell somewhere I wasn't supposed to. All right, very good. I fell inside a Starfall Street base, which you can't just sneak oh, into no. it like that. So I'm just... <laughs> no, he's yelling at me. Yeah, he's, that's, ah, that's stop, such a time loss. Ah, that's so much time loss. He's yelling at me to ring, ring the bell like a decent person. Okay, well, I accidentally picked up Snarl, I guess. Um... No, I thought going the way that I was going would, would work, but I, I'll just do it this way instead. Okay, so I didn't really want to knock the boss down there, but that's fine. I'm going to throw this potion even though I'm at full health because I actually just want it out of my inventory. I don't need it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, you little idiot. Thank you. And we're done with guard armor. <clears throat> I severely overestimated this idea of mine. I don't think this is going to work. So <laughs> oh, it worked. It worked. I'm a genius. Nice. So now I have a long segment. Because um, I got a lot of running around to do. Basically, I'm going to be um, doing the first glitch of the... The first and only glitch I'll be doing in the run pretty soon. And it's an actual, actually, it's an English exclusive. It's exclusive to the English version of this. And Japanese is still faster for this game, but I don't rem like read Japanese. I didn't feel like relearning the menus in Japanese. Uh, so I'm running the English version, but because of that, we get to do the, the cool glitch, which saves us a little bit of time back on Japanese. Uh, first, nice. I got to do a menu, though, where I'm going to steal the ether from Goofy. I'm going to uh, switch the ribbon I started with to a Brave Warrior for more damage, and I'm going to put on Dodge Roll so that I can move around. And I hope you like the look of Dodge Roll because I'm going to be doing it a lot. <laughs> this can be our core movement until right near the end of the game. I, I just did a camera glitch, <laughs> so Good my job. movement's kind of weird now. This wasn't on purpose. <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm coming up to my glitch. So this Red Trinity here. Uh, we're getting a little cutscene because it's the first Trinity we've seen. And if I hold forward, I will just walk through this bar. I'll just walk right through that, <laughs> that uh, the metal bars there and be able to enter the uh, underwater kind of cavern area early, which means I could talk to Leon and get uh, the, what is it? Earth Shine, I think. Earth Shine Gem, which is uh, the Simba Summon Gem. We can't actually get Simba yet from him, uh, but getting this now is just more efficient for our routing. I was looking at the map. That's not fair. <laughs> not my fault I ran into the monster. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is where all sorts of me knowing what I'm doing is gone. Um, I don't know where all these candies are, so I'm going to do my best. Wish me luck if you're on Team Keys. Laugh at me if you're on Team Hobbs. Good luck. Ha ha! I, for one, am <laughs> laughing at myself, so, you know. <laughs> good choice if you do. Oh, here, isn't also, for the record, that glitch I did is a one-time only. It's a one, one and done. You, uh, you can only do that when, you've, when you're seeing your first Trinity mark. Um, so now I am going to... <laughs> hey, nice. Hit that door on the way down here. And I'm just going to head into Merlin's house. There's some cutscenes here that we need to see at some point. And there's a save point we can leave from. And the next thing we want to do is leave the world. So we might as well go here so we can have the save unlocked for later. Oh, this movement's such a nightmare when you aren't familiar with the map. <laughs> We're going to stop moving for a sec so I can actually... 
peek here. Um, stare at my map real quick. I want to go that direction, I think. <laughs> I need to I scroll my notes. Ah! Ah! See, this is where knowledge of the game comes in handy. I keep running into wild mons because I'm looking at my <coughs> map, and by the time I look at my game, there's just a huge spawn of them. <laughs> yeah, so... um. What do you have any kind of notes or anything that you're following, Keys? I, I mean, imagine yes. you're following a route. Oh, absolutely. I also have a, a screenshot of of candies because <laughs> I need so many of them. Nice. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm not following route notes for this one like I have for a lot of these. I will be when we get to zero point two, um, but I am following menu notes that I made, which basically just reminds me what I need to do in each menu and when. Uh, before we head to our next world, I need to upgrade the Keys Sucks uh, gummy ship here. <laughs> uh, there we go. I have upgraded it. It is now, rather than being this beautiful thing with lots of armor and all this other stuff, uh, it is now a tissue box. <laughs> what have you done to me? It is just a cockpit and an engine, which is the bare minimum that is required to uh, make a gummy ship function. Uh, and I do this because all that armor actually slows down the gummy ship. And we're going to be upgrading the gummy ship throughout the run, but right now we don't have access to really any useful pieces. So I'm not even going to use a gun. I'm just going to uh, put a cockpit and an engine on it and take my hands off the controller after I get in this spot because I can stand here. I'm going to get hit once right here, and then I uh, or hit twice there, I guess, and then I should never get hit again. These are my auto scrollers. This is where I get to relax. I'm terrified because this is a high level area and I'm kind of lost now. Um, I want to get out that direction. So I've got to go this way, I think. Oh, Hobbs, it's terrifying here. It's snowing and I can't see. Oh, no. That's a dead end. I went the wrong way. <laughs> I ran into something. That's not good. <laughs> Oh, it's just a little dino. <laughs> yeah, there are a fair number of gummy missions in this game, and but thankfully only really the early ones are very slow. Until we can spend some money to um, get a better engine and a boost gummy. <sighs> so I am moving on to uh, Wonderland now. Nice. I'm gonna double check if I got all the candies I needed. Oops, oops, Donald, get out of the way. I'm terrified I didn't. Now, I have to watch this cutscene because for some reason on just this version of the game, that cutscene is not skippable. <laughs> Thankfully, it's an extremely short one. But it's very missing weird old. because just the PC version, <laughs> it's unskippable. I'm missing a large candy, so I gotta figure out where to get. <clears throat> get the one over there. This is definitely not the one you're supposed to get, but since I don't know where the other one was, I'm going to pick this one up. Plus, if I end up finding the right one anyway, it's not like having extra experience is bad in this game. Yeah. <laughs> the Max Elixir. Where is this? Right, I'm going to be taking out a wave of Heartless here. I need to um, open a box coming up, and I need a blue command menu to do that, which means I, basically I can't be in combat. So I kill the five here, and then there are more enemies that want to spawn, but if I hug this wall, then I can open this little box, and then I don't spawn the enemies. And uh, that is actually all we need to do to progress the story right here. They want you to collect significantly more evidence than that, but we just have to pick up the one. And uh, when the Queen of Hearts shuffles everything around here, I'm going to watch these boxes as they drop and try to see which one drops first. That looked like far right to me, it's really hard to tell on 60 FPS, but uh, we're going to see if it was the far right. If so, it's, it'll have a soldier in it, which will be uh, the best case scenario. Hey, I got it. Sweet. <clears throat> nice. I'll unlock this city because I don't remember if I need it for Starfall or not. I don't think I do, but still trying to figure out what to do about the large candy.
Okay, uh, this crank tower fight is really weird. There we go. Uh, at the beginning, you have to like destroy each of the cranks, and you have to do it by just like wailing on on the tower uh, pretty fast. But then when you actually destroy the tower part, you want to slow down your combos for some reason. <laughs> it like ends up making it break faster. So it's, it's just a really weird fight and I'm really bad at it. I'm just glad I didn't die because I actually got into crit health there. But yeah, that whole blue menu thing I was talking about um, is something we have to factor in in a lot of places. This is another one. In order to open chests or examine objects, you have to have a blue menu. So here I'm going to specifically avoid touching the floor because that would spawn a bunch of enemies. And uh, then I would have to despawn them or kill them in order to examine these torches. <coughs> and I also have to examine a, a hatch in order to leave here. Which I'm going to do as enemies are spawning before my command menu turns blue. Or turns red, rather. So it, like you have just enough time there. And now I'm on to the Trickmaster fight. Which is kind of tough um, execution wise it's not like the worst but we'll see how it goes I am trying to get a large candy because I do not know which candy I was supposed to get kind of throwing me off a little bit uh, please hit there we go So basically, the very top of my jump, I can uh, hit Trickmaster here without having to get on the table. Hey, that went really well. Nice. How am I supposed to see? It's so tiny. <laughs> what we used to do is jump on and off the chair over and over. But if you're just at the very height of your jump when you do those swings, you can barely hit the hitbox. And we have enough damage to knock it down quickly enough where it won't uh, start doing anything too bad. Where in the heck is this candy? Be like down. Oh, is it up there? <laughs> oh goodness. I believe in you. I, I believe in your ability to find sweet treats. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Uh oh. I keep running in the wilds, it's bad. But I believed in you. That's your first mistake. <laughs> <clears throat> I keep picking up small candies in inferior candies that I don't want <laughs> Keys, can I tell you a really dumb thought that I had today? Sure <laughs> So in, uh, in the song I'll Follow You, I think it's called or Follow You Down or something like that by Shinedown one of the lines mm -hmm. in the chorus is uh or right before the course is uh, the first step is the one you believe in. <laughs> and then the chorus is like, I'll follow you down um, like over and over. Well, that and some other lines. And I was like, it would be so funny if someone took that just starting at the first step is the one you believe in. And then just like made it look like we were about to do some like cool speed tech or something from one of the past episodes. And then I'll follow you down. is just us falling into pits over and over. And like <laughs> you, I, I fall in the same pit you fell in. Mm, that'd be so good. <laughs> so if anybody's particularly skilled in video editing, <laughs> or even if you're not, but you really want a project, <laughs> go through some old, uh, TFS episodes and see if, <laughs> if you could find us both falling in a pit in Celeste or something. Because there's even passing through space, which is just like perfect for farewell. <laughs> I am struggling to figure out where this candy is. I see the map, but I don't see how to get it. Oh no. I keep running in the wilds. Help. <laughs> uh, I got some good advice for you. Just uh, yeah. stop running in the wilds. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Good, good idea, good idea. <laughs> Oh, not remove destiny. That's... All right. 
I am in the deep jungle, which is better known as Tarzan World. Just defeated Sabor One. That that fight just ends extremely fast. You can actually just take enough damage for it to end as well. One of the few times you can do that in this run, but we're we're not gonna be um, doing that on beginner mode. Uh, I'm gonna roll over the save point because that'll activate it as a warp point for later. And then this world's really easy to get lost in, but you can always use the what's it called? Uh, you can always use the the little like tree trunk slider mini game there to get back down to the camp. Now I have to pick up some slides. Oh man, I'm, I'm trying really hard to find a backup candy because this candy in the route is just not one that I thought. I think I picked it up when I played through earlier, but somehow just can't find it now. Very weird. Yeah. I think I go over there. This is multiple minutes of loss. Oh no. <laughs> No keys. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm doing okay on my end. <laughs> I know. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So like I said, we activated that um, that warp point. We didn't used to do this back on PS3, but then it got fast enough with the uh, faster loads to make this worth it. Our next uh, destination is Vines 2 is the name of the room. Uh, where there's a cutscene, so we just drop down into here. We activate this cutscene. Then we need to go back up to the treehouse again. There's going to be a lot of going between the camp and the treehouse in Deep Jungle. You might notice when I climb the vines that I'm going to be jumping off the top of them. Uh, that's just to hit the loading zone a bit faster because it's up above us. Uh, get in there. <laughs> Quick, call etiquette. <laughs> I'm about to pull up Pulse's video he gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I need to fight some Power Wilds, which are another very annoying enemy. Everyone, everyone, watch Hobbs for a second. I'm actually gonna do that real quick. <laughs> uh, power, power wilds are super annoying because they can, um, they they just jump around very erratically. They're kind of annoying for similar reasons that shadows are annoying. They can just waste your time without you being able to do too much about it. We're gonna do another one of those warps in order to get to the climbing trees here where there are more. That was the wrong spell. It's fine. Which one's alive? There we go. So power wilds take either two spells or one full combo to defeat at my current like stats and everything. Which... Could be annoying. Oh, I didn't mean to throw a potion. Wanted to use this ether. Hobbs, I'm very scared that I missed it because it was just tucked in a corner and I didn't look in the corner right. <laughs> oh no. I, I just I just looked at the video. And you know what? This this happens when you're learning a run, folks. Yeah, Sometimes true. you just kinda kinda overlook something. I th I think it's still very likely I'm end up making a route mistake. So could happen. That was happening to me a bunch when uh, when I was first like relearning this. Was I, I would just forget to do a menu or make some other route mistake. Could be. Could be around here. I have my final wave of power wilds to deal with here. We're gonna try to like pull them back this way a bit. They don't seem to want to do it too much. Also, I don't think I ever mentioned it, but I'm pretty much going to be doing air combos all the time, like as much as I can, because air combos are uh, significantly faster 
in this game. And in a lot of cage games. There it is. Goodness. Hey. All right. 10, 10, 15 minute detour later. <laughs> no, it wasn't that long. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. <laughs> Don't sweet talk me. Fire. Oops. Okay, flew to the wrong center. Ah, uh, the, the problem center. is Jeez. with air combos, uh, there are some enemies that have very low to the ground hitboxes. And it makes it really hard to, uh, it makes it really hard to like perform an air combo on them without landing. At least you didn't run into a tree like I just did. <laughs> or a dub trio with the longest hitbox on the planet. What the heck? <laughs> uh, it sounds like you're having a great time. Sure. So I can't Ouch. warp from the tent this time. So instead, what I'm going to do is what we used to do, which is go up to this mini game, activate it and then pause and quit out, and it warps us from Vines 1 to Vines 2. Which is very nice. Hmm. Up, don't let me down. And uh, this Black Fruit just takes 15 hits. Doesn't matter what kind of hits, so we want to just do five combos on it. And I'm heading into Clayton. I'm almost done with Deep Jungle. Or I'll be heading into him soon. Uh, the PC PB I got this morning, not like my actual PB, but the time I got uh, earlier today, I died on this fight twice. So hopefully I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Generally advised to not die in places you don't expect to in your speedruns. What? That, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, see, these candies are going much better because I understand this part of the map. But my character is stuck? Wait, wh what? Obs, I ran into a wall and the game froze me and then just reloaded me. Uh, huh? Uh, Clayton, come on. Okay, so what I want to do here is just do two hit combos on Clayton instead of using a finisher. Nice. Okay, I didn't die. Nice. Um, finishers will just knock him super far away, even though they will do more damage. I finally got the strat I've been like trying to get in that fight. Anytime you see me pause, by the way, and I can't skip the cutscene, it's just because I'm pausing too early. Um, so now we have access to Cure, because that you get that from Clayton. Also, I am doing the hardest boss in the game, which is platforming. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I'm two and a half minutes ahead. <laughs> well, it's not good for you. It's fine. I'll, lo I'll lose it. Don't worry. <laughs> There's a lot of hard stuff coming up throughout the run. Okay, I need to use a potion because I hurt myself by running into wilds. Don't do that. <laughs> Okay, my uh, my uh, Florigato is now turning into Yaskarada. Already? Get, I picked up that many candies, Hobbs. Oh, yeah. It is incredible how good they are. Yes, I'd like to learn Flower Trick. Thank you. So now I have probably the biggest slowdown of the run um, for me, which is I need to get all the way back to Traverse Town 2, do a few things there, and then fly to Agrabah before I have any more fighting to do. When you come back to Traverse Town 2, they, you can like decide to fight opposite armor, um, but we don't. We don't need to fight it right now. All you get from it is arrow uh, and a navigational gummy that won't matter for a while. Uh, we don't need arrow until the very late game because it's just a defensive ability at level, like the first level of it. And uh, so we're just going to wait to fight opposite armor until we're significantly stronger. We can take it out a lot faster. So with that in mind, I don't have a way to warp back to Traverse Town yet. So I have to actually fly back through these Oops. routes that I took. Uh, you might wonder why we didn't go down to the bottom 
side of the map and go to Olympus Coliseum. Oh. That's because it turns out Olympus Coliseum is actually completely optional in this game, and the uh, gummy routes that direction are slower. They're significantly longer. So we're not going to take those. I jumped down the wrong side of the mountain. So now I got to... Oh, no. Nagle my way to the actual Titan here. <laughs> also, I keep glitching my camera. I've never seen this before. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. This is so scuffed. <laughs> I'm the one who's supposed to glitch like out the that. games on this show. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Well, it's, it's my turn now. Yeah, apparently. Mom said it's my turn to break the video game. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing I did in this gummy mission going the other direction, which is line my uh, gummy ship up in a spot where I can just set the controller down for a while. <laughs> All right, so I'm finally, finally starting my second Titan after that absolutely miserable experience of the past 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's Orthworm. Orthworm. He, he's just a happy boy -o. <laughs> This is a happy little worm. Look at that worm. <laughs> We're going to kill it. Uh... I'm a monster. <laughs> yeah, on, on, during that whole time of me getting lost and picking up candies and stuff, I picked up the Aura Sphere TM. Again, something I'm not supposed to be able to get this early. But because of clever movement and also getting lost a lot, I was able to get it. So we, we one-shot Orthworm. It's great. Nice. <clears throat> now we got to find him and do it again. That's the funny thing about these Titan fights is you, there are two phases and every time you beat them, they just like literally run away. Mm -hmm. And you have to be a monster and chase them down. Oh, very happy for the, uh, the chance to shake out my wrists, relax my hands a bit. But I am back in Traverse Town now. I need to land in the first district. And we're going to... Uh... Nope. <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> we're going to go here. Hey, you can afford to do that Oops. a few more times. Yeah, I was thinking yeah, of a later maybe, visit. Maybe um, 10 minutes worth. <laughs> we need to talk to Sid. He's going to give us a book. A book we don't care about, but Merlin does. So that, that, that book contains Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> um... <laughs> which is very slow in this game, so we will not be going there. <laughs> so we're instead just going to uh, get the book, deliver it to Merlin. We also are going to sell a bunch of stuff uh, that we have just effectively been handed throughout the run so far. We don't go out of our way to pick up anything in beginner mode for money, but we do have some stuff that we could sell. We need to get to 1250 money. We're probably going to get somewhere in like 1600, so we're going to have plenty. Um, it used to be potentially a little close, but not anymore because I'm no longer using the uh, defense ups. Oops. Fun fact, Hobbs. Since you were like, you're your final form already, so I'm already level 51. What the... T <laughs> that's, that's how I level <laughs> Jeez. All right. And now the reason why we... why it was uh, very, very important for me to get those candies. Yeah. The reason we warped out of Merlin's house earlier was so we could warp back here now and again later. And uh, so we turn in the book, and that is what allows us to finally turn Earthshine into Simba. So we'll have the Simba summon, which is extremely useful. Uh, it is one of only two summons we'll be using during the beginner run. And it's the only one we'll be using for combat. Simba is very good, if you know how to use him. All these rocks. They, they move randomly, and they trolled me, and I fell in the water. Sora's shirt's <laughs> all wet now. And his pants, his underwear, and everything. Oh, it's awful. Just a mess. It's like when somebody pushes you in the pool, and you're not expecting it, and you're like, dude! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Unlocked the uh, exit, or the, the connection from, oops, from the third district to the first district. And then we just have more cutscenes to, to do. We basically, we need to progress the story here so that Sid moves from here to back to the first district where we can buy some gummy pieces from him. 
We're going to buy a Fyra G, which is an engine, an upgraded engine. Makes us go faster. And we're going to buy a Haste G, which is a boost gummy, which allows us to, uh, to boost um, by holding the square button. I'm in cutscene hell. Hey, we both are. Hooray! Oh, camera. Okay. So fun fact for those at home, if you weren't aware, um, the importance of the Titan storyline is that's how you get your like field moves and whatnot. So we get we get faster bike. We're allowed to float or float uh, glide. We're allowed to swim. We're allowed to run faster. That kind of stuff. Um, every time you beat a Titan, you get access to an Herba Mystica or an HM for short. <laughs> yeah. So time for gummy menu number two for me. My uh, gummy ship's going to look a little weird, but I'm basically just trying to minimize the number of inputs I have to. And then even though this portal above us looks like it's closer to Traverse Town, it's actually closer to Wonderland. So even though we have to sit through this warping animation, it still saves something like four seconds to warp here first and then travel to it. Huh. That's like a lot of the travel in this game too. Like even, even if you're in the same city, it's usually faster to just fly yeah. to the center closest to where you want to go. It saves so much time that I actually immediately started today's run with a mistake by not <laughs> flying to the east center of the city and instead running over. <laughs> I actually lost a couple of seconds because of that. It's pretty wild how much time you save. Yeah, flying is really fast in that one. And plus, when you're flying somewhere, you don't run through a city of lag. <laughs> and when you're flying somewhere, you don't run into a pile of wild Pokemon. <laughs> it's win, 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 you see. <laughs> Just sounds like a great idea overall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to fly to Mezagoza, which is where the central hub of the game is. And now we're going to go to the west side. We were east side and north side this whole time. I don't think we go south at all. <laughs> Just like Jim's down there for the most part. Yeah. I don't remember where the candy is here. It's an alleyway. An alleyway of some sort. But yeah, hopefully uh, everyone can see how much faster we're going in these gummy missions now that I'm boosting forward every now and then. And off to Agrabah we go. I'm gonna buy a miracle seed real quick. It'll boost the power of our grass moves. We're gonna need that. We mentioned this the last time that we had a uh, Scarlet and Violet on TFS. But if you jump over the wall instead of going through the gate, you skip a cutscene, like entirely. So that's why you see me always jumping off instead of just going through the gate. I'm actually gonna scout some of the hidden items here because I did this. I, nice. I keep doing this every time. Okay. I'm doing old movement. <laughs> we don't room transition there. I need to go into Laden's house. I've, I've, I've done that like every run. <laughs> we, we used to do a strat to unlock um, a pathway. Whoa. whoa. Uh, to unlock a pathway that we needed um, without having to do any combat. But yes. we don't have to do that anymore because <laughs> we can warp. All right. I was pretty lucky. That's RNG uh, to get uh, cherry berries from a hidden item or from hidden spawns, and we got one, so it feels kind of nice. Things are finally coming up keys. We're going to pick up this adamant mint, I think is right here. I thought wrong. Is a heal powder? This one's the adamant mint. Just kidding. That's a potion. It's around here somewhere. Oh, this one's the adamant mint. <laughs> this time for sure. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> So we changed our nature to hasty earlier. I could have changed it to rash, but I didn't pick up that mint. I didn't need it. And we're going to change the adamant eventually. All right, here's an example. So we just ran into Cortando. And instead of running through a town of lag, I'm just going to fly to the other center. Uh, oh, wait, that's the whole menu. 
So I switched my Keyblade to the one I got from um, Deep Jungle, and I also took off the EXP Necklace, which is an item we start with on beginner mode that gives us just higher experience gains. Um, I took it off, and that might sound like a very useful item, and you'd be right, it is a very useful item. But if we put it on Goofy, Goofy is almost always in our party, and that means we can use that equipment slot for stats instead. Um, and uh, Goofy, like, even though it's on Goofy, not Sora, it, the bonus applies to the whole party. Where the heck am I going? Swing there. So it was very important I didn't fall down into the, uh, the bottom of this room because it would have spawned a lot more enemies and <laughs> would not have had a blue menu. Bob, there's so many tiny wild mons. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, I'm, I'm heading them. <laughs> into Pot Centipede, which is a pretty easy fight to die on if it goes poorly. One of my runs when relearning this did die here, but hopefully it doesn't go too poorly. What we want is for the boss to change rooms like this, and then we want to wail on it as much as possible and hopefully defeat it. Uh, clanking is bad, and it breaking apart is also very bad. Okay. Could have been worse. And then I specifically roll to this next room because it will change which room we spawn in after the fight. Uh, and this one is better for us because it's where we need to go. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm looking at this map and I see that there's a candy I can grab. And considering how bad I've been at grabbing candies, I'm really tempted to just grab this one anyway. <laughs> You're going to get lost in the next 30 minutes trying to find that candy. Don't say such a... Oh, I know where this candy is. Uh, am I doing this? I'm doing this. This candy's on top of this lighthouse. This is not worth it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh, I, I need to hit ridiculous. this, I, I want this to be clipped at some point in time so I could show Hobbs just how ridiculous I look grabbing this. That was That was silly. That was absolutely oh silly looking. Okay, so I wanted to... Oh, uh, I wanted to try to... Oh, my... I gotta wait now. Yeah, I wanted to try to break both eyes before it rose its head back up, but I got very... Uh, my positioning was poor, so I kept uh, whiffing a lot of hits. <laughs> I've never been hit by a rock before. <laughs> that was rude. What's funny is at the end of the world I'm in, I'm going to be getting hit by a lot of rocks intentionally. <laughs> Excellent. No, Sora, don't grab the ledge. Ah, I wanted to land on there to do a dodge roll, but that's okay. Yeah, I got to see whatever you're talking about later. <laughs> How uh, silly you look. Yeah, I. so I had to climb a lighthouse, and instead of doing the normal thing of getting off your giant monster bike to walk up the stairs, mm -hmm. I did my damnedest to stay on my monster bike and I oh, ran in yeah. circles. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> it, it, it looks like you're going to fall off. <laughs> yeah, I, I did the same thing at one point. Alright, I'm going to go for a scary jump here and if I mess it up, I will lose a lot of time, so here's hoping we don't mess it up. Okay, I didn't mess it up. Whew. I would have fallen in, uh, and that would have definitely lost me a ton of time. Uh, I'm heading to Jafar. If I get kind of lucky with um, my party members dealing damage and also just really good combos for myself, then I can one-cycle this fight, which would be very cool. Let's see how it goes. Oh, not good. Okay. So I did specific combos in order to make sure that he uh, did that magic shield so that I could uh, keep him on this platform as long as possible. Yeah, I, I whiffed too many hits. Otherwise, my party members, I think, probably did enough damage there. Uh-oh, am I going to make it to him in time? All right. Oh, I, oh I was one hit off. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's, that's my third HM. I think this one gives you swim for some reason. Oof, all right. Yeah, I was one hit away from never having Jafar teleport there, but that's okay. Hopefully Genie Jafar goes well. 
We're going to open with a lot of blizzards and then attack the lamp. I only have two titans to go, and since I don't really have to pick up any items from here, it, it should be straight shots to them, and then I can switch to my other category of uh, Starfall. I can't believe I spent 10 minutes looking for a candy that was literally tucked in a corner. Oh no, I fell! Uh... Hey, hey, where are you going, Iago? You want to land? No? Okay. Wait, why am I not... Why did I not just go over to Jafar and blizzard him? I'm not close enough. Come on, hit him. <laughs> he was one away. Uh, okay, both those fights were just one away from being very good. One hit away, but oh well. It is what it is. Um, but now I'm going to take an intentional death abuse. Uh, this fight, or not fight, this uh, little escape sequence you can actually die on and still progress because the game likes to it wants to always give you an opportunity to save um after you defeat a boss and it doesn't give you an opportunity in, in this one to do that so instead you just progress if you die and it's a little bit faster than if we uh went all the way to the end of it So we have to get hit by all of these rocks, and I should die to the next fire pillar. There we go. Getting Meanwhile, hit by here all I those am, rocks just harder than it seems. Eating okay. sandwiches, no big deal. <laughs> See, you know what I like about the the Titans, I like about the Path of Legends, is I actually like the plot behind it. Mm-hmm. Arvin's just trying to save his sick dog. Yeah. Yeah, Arvin's cool. I used to hate him. And then <laughs> I got to like the second or third HM and it turned out he was saving his dog. And I was like, I'm a monster. Yeah, I don't know. He's a total jerk at the beginning. But then you're like, oh, I just want to give you a hug. <laughs> I understand now. I yeah. too would be a jerk. <laughs> his parents abandoned him and all he cares about is his dog. Mm-hmm. If anything, he should be meaner. <laughs> Kudos to him for being not as mean. Mm. All right, I'm heading on to my next world, which is going to be nice. Monstro. Okay, I'm uh, only supposed to have two ones. candies here, but I picked up that extra one, so uh, you can't stop me. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little bit of extra experience. And then we're actually going to... Um, we taught Aura Sphere, but we're actually going to teach Knock Off now. And we're teaching it over Aura Sphere. So we don't need Aura Sphere. Mm. It is really silly that bomb Bombardier, you know, the flying bird, gives us the ability to swim. <laughs> yeah. But then again, a crab gives you the ability to run. So I mean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, this this giant rock crab allows you to go faster. Incredible. <laughs> but it is weird that the fish doesn't give you the ability to swim. Because <laughs> you need it to get to it. Yeah. Alright, so Great Tusk is literally like a stone's throw away from where that last boss was. So I'm actually going to enter my fourth Titan now. Ooh. I forgot how big it was. Holy moly. <laughs> it's a Great I get Tusk. It's a yeah, yeah, it's, it's not just a regular tusk. It's not the minor tusk. Yeah, it's, it's not Dan Fee, it's Big Dan. <laughs> it's not Dan Fee, it's Dan Fee with a real capital D. <laughs> yeah. Like the D is like like higher font, like a bigger font size than the rest. 72-point 70, font on this 12-point <laughs> font essay. <laughs> Now then, it's it's so big that I'm going to use Grass Knot and it's going to die immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so we're coming up um, pretty soon on our next break. Which will probably be either right as I'm finishing this world or just before I do. Uh, our first break, I guess I should say. For anybody who doesn't know, we take breaks once an hour or so on this show. 
Just a little wellness break because it's a chance to stand up and stretch because we're both old. And yeah. uh, <laughs> and also a great opportunity for us to run some ads to help support the broadcast and GDQ. So if you would like to avoid the ads, we really appreciate anybody who subscribes to the channel. We do have ads turned off for subscribers. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do a trick right here that is called Chamber 3 Skip. And it's actually one of the two things that I found for this video game. Let's see if I can get it. I got it. Yay. Nice. Uh, so yeah, that saves like a, I don't know, like eight seconds or something, eight or ten seconds. Uh, I basically just landed in a portal that we were not supposed to really be able to land into in order to get a very like just tight jump um, to barely avoid ever entering chamber three. So you normally go from chamber two to three to back to two. So we just go for that uh, really sketchy jump. And I didn't get that right. in the uh, PC PB I got this morning. So, so that's oh, cool. Great Tusk is down. Both rounds, one one shot the first round, barely missed a one shot on the second round, but uh, thankfully Arvin cleaned it up. So, I believe this allows us to climb. It's either this one that gives you climb, or this one gives you glide. Nice. I had a perfect fight with Nicolas Cage. Nice. <laughs> it's very good. If you just land all those combos uh, right in the middle of the boss like that. You will, uh, you can totally stun lock it. Your party members can mess it up. Uh, Riku can kind of mess it up too, but none of them did. And I didn't drop any of my combos, which is extremely easy to do, and I'm going to do a lot in this run. So it's a miracle whenever I can do a fight without dropping combos. Uh, and then I, ooh, this is goofy. I need to go to Sora, go to Three Wishes, and... Then, oh no, that's right. We just put on high jump. It looks like it's about time for a break, but I am stuck in cutscene heck again. So okay. uh, I'll let you know when the cutscene's done and we can actually stop. Sounds good. I'm heading to my next boss, so it'll have to probably be after that at this point. It's a never ending cycle. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. I'll have a gummy mission and stuff after. All right. If I get. Really good timing. I can stun lock this boss before it attacks. Ah, I didn't quite get the right... I think I, I didn't have the right spacing, actually. Uh, but now I want to see Donald and Goofy not jump up to its face like Donald just did there and immediately ruined it. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> so now that the boss is knocked down, I'm going to do two hit combos instead of three hit combos so that it doesn't recover very quickly in order to get as much damage as possible in... But yeah, you ideally don't want him to get knocked down at all, or at least not until much later in the fight. But still not bad. And now we got access to the most overpowered spell in the game, which is called Stop. We won't be using it for a little bit, but when we do, you'll see. It is extremely, extremely strong. How is it looking on your end keys? Still mashing through the cutscene. Okay. <laughs> There's also the the uh, the placeholder Pokeball in the middle of the room. Oh, <laughs> excellent! Yeah, anyone who's never noticed, uh, you can see like random types of Pokeballs in the middle of a room sometimes, and the, the guess is it's just kind of a placeholder for. Like the center of the room or something? I don't mm. know. I, I, yeah, we get glide from this. So I'm I'm done mashing. Um, okay. It looks like I'm good to stop whenever. I am in uh, an animation of Monstro eating me. I don't think I... Maybe I can pause during this. Uh, let me. No, I can't. Okay, so uh, as soon as I'm back in Monstro, I, I'll be able to pause. So I'll let you know and then give us a okay. quick countdown. I really hope me jumping into the water doesn't cause a super long cutscene. <laughs> All right, ready? Yes. Three, two, one, pause. I'll have you know I was inching pixel by pixel when you started the countdown in hopes that I could get as close as possible <laughs> without <laughs> causing an issue. <laughs> All right, folks, as Hobbs mentioned, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we will see you all on the other side with more of Pokemon Scarlet versus various Kingdom Hearts.
And welcome back, everybody, from the break. Once again, we appreciate you sticking through. Um, we have uh, we've made some pretty decent progress in our respective games so far. I'm almost done with uh, all the Titans. So after this next boss fight of mine, I have one more fight and I'm done with one. And then I'm going to move on to Starfall Street. And then Hobbs sounds like he's on PB pace again. <laughs> There's plenty to still ruin it, incl including the fact that I dropped in the water right before uh, we went to the break. So I'm already going to lose a few seconds there. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, no. A few seconds on your two minute lead. Hey, there's so many hard things coming up. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Well, we'll give you a chance to talk about that in a moment. But uh, before we get back into the race, I just want to remind everyone real quick, if you're on YouTube right now watching the VOD of this, thanks a lot. Hit like the usual stuff, you know, subscribe, and bell, uh, I, the YouTube shenanigans that you've heard about a billion times by now. But uh, also... <laughs> Uh, other, speaking of a billion times you've heard by now, uh, consider swinging by the live channel here at twitch.tv slash games done quick if you want to watch our content live uh, every weekday, 7 p.m. Eastern and weekend, 1 p.m. Eastern. And uh, if you had to sit through the ads, we're really sorry, but it does help fund the Hotfix content. And also, you can skip those ads by subscribing to the channel. And on that topic, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, bits cheered here on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Hotfix directly. And we're really grateful every time you choose to do so. You get to hear a bunch of awesome music while while we're on break anyway. So, you know, it's, it's pretty win-win-win all around, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm good to unpause and start whenever you are. I am as well. Would you like to count us down this time? Sure thing. We'll start again in three, two, one, go. Okay, so uh, I fell in the water right away, which means, yeah, need to uh, get out of there, lose a little bit of time. But I'm going to pick up this uh, item called Water Gleam. This is another summon gem. It is the other of the two that we'll be using, as I alluded to earlier on. Uh, that one contains Dumbo. We won't be using that for a while, but it will be very important for some extremely cool skips later on. And now I'm heading on to Halloween Town. I got a very short gummy mission this time, but then we'll have some like cutscenes and movement. Uh, I'm gonna pick up a power up out of a chest, which will uh, give us increased strength. And it's the only power up we actually pick up in the entire run, because it's the only really convenient one. Otherwise, it's just the eight that we started with at the beginning of the run. But yeah, that, that's gonna be my next little bit of time. So, what are you, uh, what are you up to, Keys? I mean, you said you, you're going to your next, uh, your final Titan. What is your final yep. Titan? My final Titan is Dodonzo, who just ate. I love uh, Dodonzo <laughs> and, the, and yeah. the the whole thing. Dodonzo and um, uh, Tatsugiri are just a really awesome combination. Mm. I I love the concept. Uh, we're tricked into thinking the Donzo's a Titan, which makes total sense because it's a 30 foot long fish, but uh, it's actually the Tatsugiri. And yeah, uh, I just finished sushi. phase one. Yeah, I, lo I love the different forms too. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, so much is spawning in the water. Although this is probably the first time I've been in this water and I didn't, you know, lag the heck. So I was just cool. gonna say, are you lagging real back to that area? Ooh. The area it's a, it's a real pretty bad. rough one. But yeah, the, the Donzo and Tatsugiri have this like neat combination where Tatsugiri will go into the Donzo's mouth and it actually makes the Donzo stronger. And anyone who's into VGC, this might change. This might have changed since I last heard. But the last I heard, like as recently as like last week, the Donzo is actually like one of the most ridiculously powerful Pokemon for VGC. Oh my menus! I'm doing this menu wrong. Okay. That's fine. We'll just do it that way. Uh, stock. Need to use that power up that I got, and I need to switch to Ray of Light from Brave or from White Fang, which basically just increases my MP. Uh, put on a bunch of abilities. One being scan, so we can actually see the health bars now. Over an hour into this run. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you find scan in a randomizer, and I love how the last three randomizers I did, we never found scan. <laughs> yeah. That is the first bit of damage I've taken in this game that wasn't from me running into a wild. And that hurt. <laughs> All right, two grass knots later, and the Donzo's down. No. Oh, this. Okay, this fight's going really poorly. It's fine. 
I didn't want to use more MP because I had already used more than I wanted to. So the, you ideally want to just kind of wipe all every wave out there like right as it spawns with just a couple blizzards, but sometimes they can kind of troll you. Um, really, it has more to do with your spacing. Your spacing needs to be really good. Mine was slightly off. There are using one of our X items. There's some weird quirks with the PC oh. version of this game where the camera is like kind of slow. Um, a lot slower than it should be, especially when you're centering it behind Sora. And that kind of throws me off every now and then. I got hit by a dragon pulse and I'm almost dead, so we're gonna heal before I do anything else. <laughs> oh, I got white mushrooms. Okay, I don't get to show you all a cool uh, movement thing, or a uh, like spawn skip thing, but also my life just got a lot easier because <laughs> it's kind of hard to do. And this way, I, all I had to do was uh, get rid of the white mushrooms with a single hit a piece. Four. Oh, my accuracy fell. Six. Three. Okay, so I did this really slowly because. Oh, what? I just barely moved Sora. Pointed to the wrong one. Two, three, five. Yeah. Well, that was silly. No, Keys the break and then I'm losing time. It's Me Meanwhile, <laughs> it's flipping the other way. Everything's going great for me. Oh no, what happened? Well, Rolls are reversed. Uh, Don Dozo's down and uh, so is Tatsugiri. So now we get to sit through another cutscene. I'm one fight away from being done with this and then moving on to Starfall. Nice. Also, we don't often uh, call out like raids or anything, but I see my boy Crispy Me raiding the, uh, the channel. Thank you so much, Crispy. Uh, oh, nice. If anybody likes Kingdom Hearts runs, go follow Crispy Me because they do the hard, the hard stuff. <laughs> they, he does a uh, uh, Cage Two Data Org Level One speed runs, which are extremely cool and difficult. I absolutely—it doesn't matter what the game is. It could be Kingdom Hearts. It could be there's some Pokemon like. Uh, modifications that do this too. There's there's a bunch of other RPGs. I love low level runs. Mm -hmm. They're really cool. Level, level ones, no experience runs, so on and so forth. Like they're always so neat because you always get to see something that you don't think be effective be incredibly effective. Yeah. They really like test knowledge of the mechanics for sure. Definitely. Okay, so I'm heading off to Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I mentioned earlier that I swapped my White Fang piece of equipment for Ray of Light. Um, we're going to be doing that a lot, like putting Ray of Light on and off, uh, because Ray of Light gives us more MP, and our magic damage, like the power of our magic, is it scales with our maximum MP. But first, I'm going to do the one second time save that is the other thing that I found for this game, which is that little jump into the swing there. It is super risky. Very scary and saves one second, and I will do it every single time. <laughs> More honestly, mostly because I used I used to mess up the the proper strat every time. <laughs> That's funny. So I had to come love, up with something I love different. The dumb strats. I love the dumb strats that like you shouldn't go for because if you fail, then it does not at all compensate for the tiny bits of time save. But they're they're always great. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the main reason I go for it is the same reason I, I found it. I was really bad at the right strat, <laughs> like at the correct <laughs> strat. Oh, I am going to die. Yep, I died. I'm going to have to do that whole climb again now. That's a ma massive time loss. That's very unfortunate. That's a bummer. Yeah, that's like probably a minute or, or more, maybe a minute and a half. Uh, and in, in a world that has already been not very good. <laughs> but it is what it is. I did not get healed by Donald and I had no MP to heal myself and I panicked. If, uh, if shock hadn't been spinning around, it might've been a bit salvageable, but yeah. Okay. They seem to be a bit better grouped up this time. So,
Okay, this time Shock died very quickly. And Locke's dead. All right, good. See, this is how it goes in Kingdom Hearts speedruns, uh, or how it's always gone for me in Kingdom Hearts 1 especially. If I take a death from like a really rough fight, the refight is perfect. <laughs> it's like <laughs> always just, just extremely good. Um, so I ended up losing, looks like 30 seconds against the comparison I'm making, but uh, could could have been even better. So uh, we switch Ray of Light back to White Fang because now we need strength more than we need magic for this next fight. And then we head down into Oogie Boogie where if I can reflect his dice attack back at him, um, specifically the red dice, I could save some, some good time uh, by not having to wait through an attack or wait through some enemy spawns. But it is pretty difficult to do and I'm really bad at it, so... I got some menuing. I got, oh, the rain. Where'd they come from? I got some menuing to do here. Uh, we're going to use this adamant mint. Maybe adamant from now on. Um, I'm going to equip this cherry berry. No, oh my. It'll make this next fight safe. Go somewhere. Oogie. Oogie. What was that? What? <laughs> oh, okay, that was friend? so lame. So I need to trap Oogie in a specific wedge of this uh, circle here, but I need to trap him while also trapping my party members outside of it uh -huh. and uh that was just garbage what just happened to me um uh, that was so lame he just decided to like turn he just kept turning around in a way where i just could not hit him or could not trap him this is also you the know, worst wedge for him to be in for the record <laughs> Probably should have saved because this is a horrible fight. Can't even think about that. I was telling myself I'm gonna fly and then I'm gonna menu, but then I menued first and then flew. So I was like, ah, everything's done. All right. Oh, and I was gonna get dice reflect too. You gotta be kidding me. He he did it again. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> Keys, what happened? We went to break and I forgot how to play the video game. I got bad. I did it. I, I sent my ninjas your way. <laughs> what happened? I'm so sad. This is so slow. I love the start of that cutscene because if you look at the, the setup, there's like six monitors and well, I mean, yeah, six monitors and it reminds me of the, the monitor setup behind the, behind the scenes at GDQ. Oh, yeah. I'm getting the hard Five part of this monitors. fight perfectly. Which is the dice reflect. Jeez. Ugh. Wait, there's seven monitors. Holy. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, this world is going to be the death of me. I've already lost like a minute and a half in it. More uh, against potential time save, too. All right. Halloween Town is a rough world, though. It's just difficult. So now I need to just go break all these uh, purple orbs. Okay, good. I do have a point to save. I was like, am I going to be able to save before this fight or no? Oh, <laughs> Stop making mistakes on every single part of this world. <laughs> what happened? Look, I I missed the candy in a corner, and you're just gonna make all these mistakes to compensate. I, yeah, I get it. apparently. I didn't realize I cared that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that good of a friend. <laughs> what a great friend you are. <laughs> oh. All right. Man, so rough. <laughs> All 
all right, well, get me out of this stupid world. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last thing I needed to do here. Sally. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, let's see. I'm use the last of my X attacks, which I'm going to buy more for Starfall, probably. That would make sense. Uh, so coming up next for me, we have a uh, one of the other major benefits of playing this on PC. Um, when I get into this next gummy mission, you're going to see at the top of the screen, it's going to say hook ship, hooks ship 100%. Um, or hook ship 100%. And uh, basically at this point in the game, I have done Monstro and Halloween Town. Uh, and Atlantica is in the same ring of worlds as is Neverland. And normally when you're playing the game, if you haven't done Atlantica yet, there's a roughly 70% chance that when you try to fly there from uh, from Halloween Town, you will run into Hook's ship and you'll go to Neverland instead. We want that. We want that to happen because we don't want to go to Atlantica at all. And if we had to fly all the way there and then try for Hook's ship again, it would lose us a lot of time. Uh, it is just random. There's nothing we can do to manipulate it within the game or anything like that. But since we're running on PC, there's a community approved mod made for the game that makes it so that uh, Hook's ship shows up 100% guaranteed every single time, which is fantastic oh, nice. because it used to be you go for an hour and a half in your run or an hour 15 or whatever. And then, uh, and then it was just your run might die <laughs> if you just get unlucky and you can miss Hook's ship more than once in a row too. So it sucked, uh, but now it's going to show up right here. There it is. Can't believe I saved. This fight was flawless. <laughs> Care of no overgrow, but I am definitely an overgrow. So we got that stupid world. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. <laughs> it's fine. We're moving on to a different world that I normally hate a bit more, but I'm not going to this time because I'm going to do it better than, <laughs> than I did Halloween Town. Uh, I don't remember how to do this. Y you can uh, get up here without doing that ledge grab or without getting on the ladder, and I don't quite remember how to do it, unfortunately. No. Right. Get okay, fine. We're taking Final water. fight of Path of Legends done. Nice. What? So You're moving on to Starfall. Once I'm done talking to Arvin. <laughs> what is it, Tink? Up, I went up the wrong... No, let me back in there. <laughs> that was the wrong, the wrong place. I wanted to go here. Oh. Sora, please jump. Thank you. I wanted to go here. All right. So I have the anti-Sora fight, which is really difficult. Um, it does have a cool loop, but it's a, a hard one, and it's only for the second phase. In the first phase, I'm going to just try to use stop here and there and just get a lot of damage in, as uh, as much damage as I can. But yeah, this fight can be very rough. Okay, this is where I have absolutely nothing to work with in terms of a route, because you, you don't swap from Legends to Starfall and use Meowskarata. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm inventing something live right now. I'm going to go buy some X items and hope for the best. Uh, I am close to dying. Psst. <laughs> Can you stop? I said it and died. <laughs> oh my god. My heal didn't go off because uh, I should have known better than to jump for that. So that room has a very low ceiling. And we normally jump before using our magic because uh, when we land, it kind of cancels out the animation. We could start attacking right away. But, uh, yeah, because I the ceiling's too low, the 
I landed before the heal went off. Oh, don't go underground. Oh, we have such little MP to work with here. There we go. And I, I'm just whiffing. Okay. This is not a great fight. There are so many, so many centers that I should have unlocked to make this faster, and I did not. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have to catch a couple of things. Because you can't do Starfall without a team of three. So we're going to... And they, they all have to be under level 20 because I have no badges. So I want my party members to die here as quickly as possible because they make it significantly harder to uh, do the loop here. Um, mostly Goofy will, yep, do exactly what he just did there and push the boss away from you. Oh, please. Ugh. Please hit the boss. This is a very rough anti sora fight. <laughs> I only got to do the loop right at the end. I am... After that break, it only took me like 10 minutes or so to become behind. <laughs> to go from two and a half minutes ahead to being behind. Uh, and now I have the longest menu in the game, uh, or in the run, which is putting on pumpkin head, switching this to ray of light, and uh, oops, oops, white fang to raven's claw. Uh, we're also going to put Donald is going to get these three abilities. Goofy's going to get tornado because it's good. Peter's going to lose his abilities because they suck. Um, actually, we just don't want him using MP because we want him to give us uh, the ethers that he has. Um, and then we do that. Uh, we customized Goofy to use support items as quickly as possible. I think I was... Was I supposed to roll over that save? I'm going to roll over the save because I, I think I was supposed to. Um, we want Goofy to use his support actions as quickly as possible because he will be getting a uh, an ability called MP Gift where he can use two of his MP to give us three, which is fantastic. Um, and we set Peter Pan to use MP items immediately so that hopefully he uses the two ethers that he has on Sora. And now we're going to get our first instance of Simba which unfortunately has this long summoning animation, but is going to be useful for wiping out several waves of enemies at a time. All right, I caught my two Pokemon. They're, they're both little salt balls. Because that's, that's how I feel about my routing decisions. <laughs> I really should have unlocked so many more centers than I did. <laughs> that could have saved me so much time. Uh... Yeah, so the gimmick of the category I'm about to do now is you have a team of three and you use the Let's Go feature, which is where you throw your mons out and they can just kind of do whatever they want in the overworld. Um, typically, you would want to have things that are higher level and also typically you would have badges by now, which would mean, you know, you could... Uh, I don't know, catch higher level things that obey you, but uh, that's not the case. Not the case for us today. Okay, so that was a really good fight, at least, um, to help make up for things. I might have stopped them one too many times, but uh, that's the power of stop. <laughs> I alluded earlier that um, stop is the most broken spell in this game. And... Uh, Basically, you can sometimes completely stunlock bosses. They will break out if you keep them stopped for too long, but half the time what we will do is just let them intentionally break out for just a brief moment and then get them into a new stop. And uh, we can just let all of the damage apply at the end. That way we corral them into like one spot where we can just constantly combo them over and over. My god, Hogs, it's Clive! I still don't know who he is, but... <gasps> who? He's so cool. Clive! Su such a such a cool gentleman. Cool yeah, classmate the, Clive. The, the, the modern hairstyle. <laughs> yeah. Pompadours are still in, right? <laughs> Greetings, fellow youths. <laughs> so, 
It's <laughs> such a dumb joke in the game, but it's great. <laughs> they they like they play it off correctly, you know. Yeah. It's like incredibly obvious. It, it's funny when you like call him out on it early too. And he's like, what? "What? Who? Yeah. I'm Clive." Uh, so now I'm going to put on Fairy Harp. I'm going to equip Glide and then Ars Arcanum and Guard. Uh, basically, that is a super high value menu. Uh, I also picked up a Flare G, which is another gummy piece that we're going to equip right away because the Flare G uh, is another... It's an upgraded engine, and it is significantly faster than what we have. Um, <laughs> I'm Clive, a normal a academy student just like you. <laughs> <laughs> God. I love uh, this. Yeah. Uh, so we have a Fire G and a Flare G on, but it actually only matters what your highest level engine is that you have on. We just don't remove the other one because there's no need to. It would just be more inputs for no reason. Uh, and now I'm going to go get access to Dumbo, which, as I mentioned, we'll be using later on. We'll be using it in uh, Hall of Bastion, the next world we have to do. And then I need to uh, warp back to the first district, specifically the accessory shop, because it's just a little bit closer, a little bit faster. So the only the only foresight that I had about doing these two categories together is I picked up the play rough TM, which you don't normally pick up. Because I'm about to enter like a fire area that also has fire dark, so it's the only way I can hit mm. neutrally. Oops. Is this right? Why why do I feel like I'm going the wrong way? Am I going wrong? No, I think I'm going the right way. Oh, these kids are such dorks. Maybe I wasn't supposed to spawn those. Hmm. I'm trying to do some newer movement here. That is not what I used to do when I ran this before, so it's a little weird. Uh, so that's Ars Arcanum, which is a really useful limit. It costs 3 MP, which is pretty high, but it uh, it allows us to deal a bunch of hits in rapid succession and gives us iframes during the first half of it. I need to look at that moment oh. again, because I don't think you're supposed to spawn some of those enemies that I spawned. <laughs> All right, so our our two salty little boys are probably going to die constantly. To be clear, I hope no one's actually attached to them. <laughs> sure, it would be a shame if you were. So I could use an ether here, but I think I might save it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to save it. Um. We're going to use an Ars Arcanum to start this fight, and if I use the Aether, I could use a second one. And guard, Ars, and it should break one piece of opposite armor here. Okay, I didn't get lucky anyways, so I couldn't guard the boss again, which means it's not a big deal that I uh, didn't use the Aether. Uh, unfortunately, at, whenever this boss is kind of like changing phases, uh, the pieces become invulnerable. And it's uh, very obnoxious. But still didn't take too long. It's a pretty good fight. Uh, that was strange. Wasn't letting me send out my mom. Yeah, so we have to defeat 30... 30 of Team Star's Mons before we get into the actual boss fight. And if things go south, then there's always vending machines we can use to heal. A nice refreshing soda will bring our, our salty <laughs> boys back from, from their early grave. Hey, it's a Gen 1 callback. Kind yeah. of. It's a soda popper, a fresh water, lemonade. Yeah. Someone in chat didn't know that you could heal during Starfall. Somebody didn't read the text. And I don't blame you. There's a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on. Come on. 
There's one Torkoal right there. Thank you. All right. I, uh, like I said, no okay. routing for this has been done on my end for <laughs> how to beat this with a cat. So we're over leveled for the oh first boy. two or three. God, it's fun. Ridiculous cars. I, lo I love the car, like the parade car that is the just. The car is so good. It's such. It's so good the first time you end up in it. And it's like, all right, now you fight the car that all the Pokemon yeah. have been on. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, I'm heading to Hollow Bastion now. Uh, this is a world of a bunch of really hard fights. Uh, we first have to start off with just some slow kind of puzzle platformy sections um, since we won't have access to our Keyblade for a while. But once it gets going, this world has like some of the hardest fights in the run and also some of the coolest strats in the run. So hopefully I can show some of them off pretty well. But we'll see. Uh, there's also no menus in this entire visit. Um, only once we come back here for the second time will we be doing our next menu. Surely just drought from this fire Pokemon won't put my Grassmon in danger. <laughs> Should be fine. I actually, I actually don't know how much damage we're gonna take, and I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> I hope somebody bought oh, some revives. It? Okay. Oh, okay, good. good, 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 good. Oh man. Okay. I, I sure wish I had better coverage, though, on account of you know these cars being made of steel. <laughs> Was that low kick? <laughs> yeah, see, so the the Starfall route by itself and then the entirety of any percent uses Flamigo for good reason. <laughs> you lived! Oh, God! Uh-oh. He crit! I'm in so much pain! <laughs> oh, no. He out speed! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Did have speed I'm boost? Alive. I'm alive! Oh, oh, oh! How? Fire means nothing. I live forever. <laughs> oh Holy crap. Incredible. That was that was sun boosted overheat. All right. That might have been like the second scariest base we're going to do because there's a fighting base and I'm a dark type. So that's not going to go great. Oof. But... You know how tempting it is to do a couple of gyms so I can get higher level mods. <laughs> Uh. Okay, so something I did right there was I prepped my command menu, the, the magic part of the command menu, to gravity. Because gravity is a spell that we got back in uh, Halloween Town that we haven't used yet. And not one that we have customized right now. But we are going to use it coming up. And it can just... I, since I have to fall there anyways, it saves me a little bit of time to just prep that mag that uh, command menu to gravity early since the game will remember that we put the cursor there. Well, if I named Charlos the Char Cadet. <laughs> oh, I love Charlos. Charlos is one of the best. Oops, didn't mean to glide there. Not a big deal. Oh, I just realized something, Hobbs. You know the one downside about the two categories I picked? What's that? We don't get to see Larry. Oh, it's true. We don't get to see Larry. He's just a guy. <laughs> uh, just normal guy Larry. It's normal like, I need to get back Larry. to work. <laughs> can we, can we <laughs> get this fast? <laughs> Numbers are down. The boss is riding me. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right. I'm I'm heavily staring at the candy map because I'm really tempted to get extra candies. Because the moment I reminded myself that there's a fighting base, I got terrified. <laughs> so even though we have a wooden sword right now, we can still cast magic. And uh, so we use gravity, which deals percentage damage. It's basically like quarter or demi in uh, Final Fantasy games, except I don't think it does that much percentage health uh, damage and uh, we use it to bring that uh, defender down to 
pretty decent health, and then we hope that Beast does exactly what he did, which is lunge at it and uh, finish it off for us, because our sword will do, like, tiny, tiny chip damage. So we are not going to swing this wooden sword. Unless it's, like, just to clear a tiny gap or something. <laughs> Oh yeah? How did I end up in that barrel in that bubble? What? I did not mean to do that. Oh, what a waste of time. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, it's fine. So now there are a bunch of dark balls here that I really don't want to fight, so we just run as quickly as possible to this corner, and they should all despawn like that. Because I need a blue command menu to interact with objects, as I mentioned before. And we need to interact with that object in order to get out of here. Heading into Riku 1 now. Uh, Riku 1 has a three-hit automatic counter. So anytime you flinch him three times, or you know, stagger him or whatever, three times uh, he will counter. And uh, what we're going to try to do, what we're going to hope, is that Goofy uses Tornado a lot, which will just kind of keep him, keep Riku in one spot, hopefully, and keep like kind of parrying him. Uh, while we use ours Arcanum a whole bunch. And hopefully Riku doesn't uh, dash around the arena too much, but sometimes he does. I'm going to bait him back into this corner because it should make things a little bit easier. Yeah, see, like there he's dashing around, but that's okay. Goofy is not using Tornado at all. There's the Tornado. It's one hit. There we go. Not bad. How did I save time? I went in the bubble twice. <laughs> what? Uh, I must have had really bad platforming at the start of this world last time. There's supposed to be a candy around here somewhere. We're, we're, go we're going through this mess again. Oh, no. This is not part of the route, though. This is, this is me. You be clear. This is me. Keys, I gave you some time back, but I don't know if I can give you 10 more minutes back. <laughs> That's a rare bow, not a rare candy. Oh, oh come no. on. Right, let's, let's deep breath. Take a look at the map. They are very hard. It is nowhere close to where I am. It's over here. <laughs> right? That's the candy. Okay. Right? Really? <laughs> yeah, candy. Nice. No, wild encounter. <laughs> All right, I'm in this kind of like a uh, area that's more about it's like kind of tests your abilities or whatever. I don't remember exactly the lore, but we need to get these four emblem pieces, like the one that just spit out of the fountain. And uh, the way we do that is from different means. We have to light all these candles. We have to use this red trinity. Uh, Why? <laughs> He's green in grass. How am I supposed to see that? <laughs> uh, in order to get one of them, the one in the center out there, we're supposed to need thunder in order to make these platforms move. And we don't actually have the thunder spell because the two places we could get it right now are Olympus Coliseum and Atlantica. Two places we have not gone and we really don't want to go. Fire! Fire! Um, but thankfully, this one that would completely ruin the entire route for this video game you can just glide to. <laughs> it's great. Because, yeah, that would be like a massive problem. And also now it's time for Tony Hawk. You get a little momentum boost from that. Or as I like to call it, the Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder Strat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I've got... A bit of stuff to do. I need to go pick up a Haste 2G, which is just an upgrade to our boost gummy uh, that will just make us boost faster whenever we use it. Very cool. Did not used to be in the route back in the day. Uh, in order to do that, I need to also kind of despawn an enemy. Ow. Get punched by the defender. So I'm actually going to wait here for a second so that the enemy hopefully attacks us over by these stairs. And then I need to... Oh, it's kind of over here. Okay, it might follow us. So we might have to kill it. Yeah. We're definitely going to have to kill it. Ha! Ha! Go, go. Come on. Ha! 
I could have used gravity to make that a little faster, but I really didn't want to. Here's the haste 2G. And now we're going to avoid landing on most of this platform to my right here because a lot of enemies will spawn on it. So we just land right next to the switch, which is where we need to actually go. And that'll get us to this uh, moving platform that we call an elevator for some reason, even though it moves horizontally. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it, it does technically move down like a tiny bit. <laughs> uh, on this platform, I want Goofy and Donald to take out one of the three wizards that are going to spawn. It's pretty random whether they do or not. They usually don't because they're jerks. But I uh, mash triangle to call them to action, hoping that they will take it out. And, oh, Donald stopped it, so it took forever. <laughs> yeah, basically, Donald learns all the same spells you do, and uh, that's pretty fine, except for the stop spell. Because <laughs> whenever <laughs> he uses stop, he can just completely slow down whatever fight you're trying to do. It's a bummer. And you can't make him stop stopping? Nope. <laughs> well, that's incredible. Yeah. Also kind of ironic. Yep. Uh, I'm going to get the highest value Trinity in the game here. Highest value blue Trinity, at least. Which is one that has a bunch of MP bubbles and uh, two cottages that give us full health and MP refill for the whole party when used outside of combat. And a Mega Elixir, which does the same thing but can be used inside of combat extremely high value blue trinity and i'm also getting ready for my first dumbo skip uh i'm going to use dumbo to rise up into the air and just barely get enough height when i dismiss dumbo to land or to uh, get a ledge grab uh avoiding having to kind of walk around the building so let's see if i can do it it's actually pretty difficult because you can get hit while you're trying to do the ledge grab and if that happens then you have to start it all over again so here's hoping it goes well. Let's see. Hey, we got it. So nice. we're going to do that three times. Two of them are in the same spot. And one of them's in a different spot. And uh, that's one out of three. Hopefully we can get all three. I'm moving on to my next boss fight now. Maleficent. I am in the second Starfall base, which I think is actually technically supposed to be the first one. Oops. <laughs> Saw a vending machine. Now I have no... Where, where's the vending machine? I need heals. Oh, there's right. one. Good. Okay. Maleficent one down. If we don't use a finisher on her, she won't teleport away and make the fight terrible. Uh, at least not for a long, like not for a while. And uh, now I'm going into Dragon Maleficent, which is the strat that got me into speedrunning, because this is super cool. Everybody remembers this fight if they played this game as a kid, because you probably died here a lot. Maybe hit around and let uh, Donald and Goofy do all the damage. Maybe use Tinkerbell. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do any of that. And I'm just going to let you see what happens, and uh, hopefully I do it well. And if not, then I'll panic. All right, there's 30 down. So now we're starting up the second boss, the second car. This guy's a dark base. Still staring at the map to see if there's any candies I want to pick up. Hey, I, it went well. Okay. Whew. Yeah. So uh, that's Strat Rocks. <laughs> I, I have absolutely very tough, terrified though. myself into being scared of the final base and then the two fights after. So I'm very, very much studying this map. Nice. Oh, so that, that strat is very tough. It's It might seem a little easy because we're just using stop over and over, but I had to make sure that I got in six hits every time uh, in order to have enough MP to keep using stop. And you also have to make sure that you let Dragon Maleficent 
break free a little bit at one point, so that way she won't break free at an unexpected time. And now I'm heading into Riku 2. Like I said, a lot of really cool fights back to back here in this uh, world. And Riku 2, if all goes well, will never use his desperation attack on me, uh, where he becomes invulnerable and does this big, powerful attack. And uh, I'm going to focus up because it's a really tight loop to make that happen. Tight timing. Unlike the last car, this one didn't murder us because we killed it in one shot. So that's pretty nice. That's two bases down. We get to sit through a bunch of cutscenes. I recommend watching Hobbs at this point in time. Get a lot of backstory on why Team Star exists. Uh oh. Uh, that was unfortunate. I got a really weird whiff. Okay, so this is the attack I was trying to dodge. I was trying to like never see, but. Wait, holy crap. I just realized Miascarat is terrible for this. Four out of five of them are super effective on us. <laughs> Oof, I should have just okay. done Flamigo. That was a very rough I'm a fight. Fool. <laughs> I told you. I spent so long resetting for this cat. I refused. <laughs> the Amigo Flamigo. Ah, me Amigo. I'm sorry. I doubted you. <laughs> All right. So unfortunately got DM'd the one time. Thankfully, I didn't like die or I didn't get DM'd a second time. Um, DM standing for desperation move. And uh, I, I just had real tough timing with that or tough, uh, a tough time with the entire loop in general. The core idea of it is that unlike in Riku 1, where Riku has a three-hit auto-counter, he now has a four-hit auto-counter instead. And once he's powered up, he will always consistently use the same attack to counter. He'll use that little like spin attack that he was using. Um, and so we want to force him to do that. Um, and then there is a very brief moment where after he does that attack, with very specific timing, you can attack him to flinch, uh, to cause him to flinch, which will let you do another four hit combo and then uh, cause him to do the same attack again. And if you can just do that over and over and over and over again, he'll never use the desperation move. But the timing is really tough. You can go too early, you can go too late. So it's, it's really tight. And uh, I didn't get a good like kind of attempt at the loop because it just, the fight went really wonky. But yeah. And I skipped that cutscene before I got bonked, so heck yeah. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Right, I think I see somewhere that I want to go. Make like a five minute detour to get a bunch of candies. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's rough out here. <laughs> All right, once we uh, defeat Riku 2 there, all of the worlds get stronger and uh, we get kicked out and get like flown back to Traverse Town. Uh, we need to now go into the waterway and uh, for anybody who was here at the beginning, they might remember that we did a glitch to get in there the first time. So now we actually need to open the proper path. <laughs> but we have Red Trinity now, which we didn't have before. Uh, that's not good. Large candy. I wanted to kill that enemy so that way I didn't have to wait for it to despawn. Are you going to come over here? Are you going to despawn? You're going to come over here. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, this is going real bad now. Oh, why did this one come over here? No, you're you're so far away. What? Just despawn, despawn, despawn. Despawn. I believe in you. No. No. <laughs> Why, why am I not dealing enough damage to these things? I think I need a hurricane blast. Despawn. Oh, it's too far away. Okay, good. <laughs> that was a very unfortunate time loss. Okay, we got one large candy. We got a rare candy in general. There's another large candy over here. Let's keep climbing. Oh, boy. Go. So I'm going to do movement that I've been forgetting to do recently, which is uh, take the other exit to this room and go 
to uh, Merlin's and then warp back to the accessory shop because that is supposed to be a little bit faster. Then traveling back the normal way. Literally right next. Be over here. I that was the most complicated possible movement I could have done to just turn around. <laughs> All right, there's candy. Ooh, piece of candy. I probably don't need to do this, but uh, the more I thought about it, the more I kind of just terrified myself. Nothing wrong with being safe. <laughs> I am one second ahead. <laughs> hey, <laughs> my PB. But not my like PS4 PB, just the PC PB. Uh, no, I'm go I went the wrong way on the menu. Here we go. So that's the haste 2G. We are done upgrading keys sucks. It is now in its final form. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and now we boost real fast. The haste two gummy is uh, extremely good. And now I'm running around in the desert because there's tons of candies here. Should be one. I'm just in no, my. It's not a candy. Penultimate gum, gummy mission. Up here. Uh, the cool thing about this particular gummy mission is that uh, you're supposed to like, you know, go all the way to the end of it like normal, but uh, for some reason, because of the last places we've been, uh, we can actually get just about halfway or a little over halfway through the gummy mission and then quit out. Or on the PS2 versions, you had to force an intentional death. And it will just skip, like, half of this gummy mission. It's very weird. But yeah, right Is here, the one we item just quit I didn't out. grab over here the candy? Are you kidding? Of course and, it was. It always is. And now we can warp back to Hall Bastion, even though you're supposed to have to unlock the full route. Now, uh, I'm going to have another long menu at the start here. Well, once, like... I get onto a specific platform where we're going to be messing with a bunch of uh, abilities. Most importantly, we're going to be giving Goofy MP Gift, which is that ability I mentioned earlier where he can spend two of his own MP in order to give us three. And we want him to do that all the time. It is very good. Because it allows us to keep using Ars Arcanum, to keep using gravity, stuff like that. Uh, okay, that was fine. So I'm going to first put on Oathkeeper, really good Keyblade for magic. Uh, I'm going to put on Leaf Bracer, and then Beast, I'm going to take off Ferocious Lunge and put on Critical Plus so he does more damage. Uh, we're going to take off Tornado for Goofy, and we're going to give him MP, Gift, MP Rage, and Second Chance. And then Donald's going to get Leaf Bracer and Cheer. And then Sora, we're going to customize Stop to Gravity instead. And now I'm going to do my second Dumbo skip. Which is to uh, just effectively skip going inside at all on this uh, lower part of Hall Bastion. But go I've ahead. I've been picking up all these TMs in hopes that maybe there's like a good TM that I didn't realize existed. <laughs> and they've all been absolutely awful. And all that does is remind me of when you, me, and Etiquette were playing, and he would only find candies, and I would only find garbage. <laughs> okay. There's one large candy, two medium candies, and then a rare candy left in this desert. <laughs> and then I will proceed to go somewhere else, because I don't want to spend too much time over-leveling here. Where are the good DMs? <laughs> Oh, come on. All right. I'm on this same elevator again. And uh, this time, really all we want is for Beast to kill everything. Unfortunately, he's not doing his roar attack, which is the way he kills everything. 
He, there he did it, but now the enemies have moved around too much. Yeah, so if, if that goes well, Beast will just kill everything instantly with a roar. But uh, unfortunately, he doesn't always like to do that. I like to just mess around on the elevator here, just make Sora kind of spaz out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> just dance. Maybe look at Beast and Goofy. Okay, this should be candy. R repeat, ball. <laughs> Timer, ball. None of these are candies. <laughs> this should be a candy. Excellent. It's a rare candy. Look, see? I Third time's the charm. Nice. Speaking of third time's the charm, I'm going to do my third Dumbo skip now. And hopefully it goes well. Um, the location is the same as the last one we did, but the enemies are different. So the attacks they use is, are different. And I was a little slow to start it up, which scares me. But we're good. Okay. Whew. That is always scary. Even if you've done it hundreds of times, it's still terrifying. Stand on that save point to get our MP back. And health. And now we're going to go fight the behemoth. Which is going to be uh, a lot of ours arcanum on the back of it. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, now that I've done my candy collectathon, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to try another base. This one's a poison base, which is kind of stinky since I'm a grass type. <laughs> There is a candy on the way here, though. Wait, no! The base is right there. No, they're yelling at me again. <laughs> oh, no. Ow. Okay, Goofy, it would be great if you would use your MP gift, please. Hey, Beast, you have a... Oh, man, he was just not doing it. Beast has M uh, some ethers as well that he's just not using. So that's unfortunate. That's just bad luck. So we really want to just be using ours Arcanum as much as possible here. I guess I'll go around. I, I, it was awfully rude of me to do what I did. All right. Still beat the boss, at least. And now I'm going to have uh, two unskippable cutscenes after this. Uh, well, not this one. <laughs> We're going to have a text cutscene and then some unskippable cutscenes for some reason. They have been unskippable in every version of this game. And uh, that's kind of my last like big break. There's a, a gummy mission coming up as well, but it's very short. And honestly, easy to die on, so you kind of have to pay attention. But this is my last big uh, break of the run. And then I have another video game to play after this one. I'm still just we may never meet trying again. to make it to this base. But we'll never no big you. deal. <laughs> you still have how many left? I have three bases and then two fights afterwards. Okay. This will be close, I think. Not for my sake, I hope. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I, I, I have my... my my sweet tooth roadmap planned out. I see an entire section where I'm going to get like five levels worth of stuff. I'm pretty excited. Nice. <laughs> You're still going for it. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh, and we are ready for our, our break break. So, uh... I can, I can stop whenever I'm just in a fight. Okay, uh, I can pause in the middle of the cutscene, so... Just, uh... Well, okay, hold on. <laughs> it, it's ending, but I can pause in this text cutscene, so... Go ahead and okay, count us down. I'm just waiting. Alright, three, two, one, pause. Okay. Alright, folks, we're taking our final break of this particular show. Um... 
few minutes, good opportunity to get up, stretch your legs, uh, get some water, and uh, we'll see you all in a few minutes. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for sticking through the break. We are wrapping up the first step here kind of soon, but we are we do still have uh, a little bit of time left. Keys is a few more... Uh, few more not gyms where the bases bases in uh, mm-hmm. starfall street here and then the kind of final content for that path i have about 22 ish minutes left in this run and then a 25 minute run to do after that so <laughs> <laughs> should be a good time uh wanted to remind folks that if you want to keep up with everything that games and quick is up to you can use exclamation point links in the chat to get links to all of our social media uh as well as to the website and stuff like that so highly recommend doing that if you were watching us live and if you're not and you're watching on youtube then hey if you like this please hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you have been enjoying the hot fix content or the vods from the main events and uh check out check us out live if you want twitch TV slash games done quick. We are live every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends generally starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we really appreciate you tuning in. And real quick, rapid fire reminders that we have Frost Fatales 2023 coming up starting very soon. I believe that starts on February 26th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then uh, we Game So Quick did just announce today we are going to be at PAX East on March 23rd through the 26th. So please check us out there. Use exclamation point uh, PAX in chat if you would like to submit a game to potentially run on our speedrun stage at PAX. Uh, all of that being said, I'm pretty much ready to go if you are keys and we can... Yep, uh, I'm sick of this gulpin making kissy face at me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I've got my second game ready to go. So as soon as I beat this one, I'm going to just jump straight into that one. Um, and uh, reminder that this won't even be the only hotfix hot content for the evening, folks. We'll talk more about that later, but we do have another show coming up after this one. Uh, so yeah, if you're good to go, I will uh, give us a countdown. Yeah, I'm good. All right, three, two, one, resume. God, is knockoff really my best move right now? <laughs> I just got Faraga, which is fantastic. Um, just got that from the story here. I'm going to switch my equipment. I'm taking Ray of Light and switching it to Omega Arts, which is just a really powerful piece of equipment. Um, just gives us a lot of good stats. We're going to leave it on for the rest. We'll be toggling between Raven's Claw and Ray of Light, depending on whether we need more magic or more strength. Right now, we want more strength. And uh, now I'm just going to you do the uh, gummy mission that is basically Star Wars, <laughs> as is customary in every Kingdom Hearts game. Gotta have one of them. I mean, Star Wars is Disney now, after Yeah, all, but this so. is well before they were ever... <laughs> no, 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 they predicted the future. <laughs> they knew. They Square knew. Enix knew back then. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I've been staring... If anyone's wondering why I keep staring in this particular direction, I'm literally, like, reading this candy map to decide how I want to approach getting five million candies. I cannot emphasize how terrified I am. I should have just done Flamigo. <laughs> Told you. I had so much time resetting for the cat. I was like, I want to use it now. Alrighty. Off we go. I'm now in uh, the final world, which is called the end of the world. And uh, we now have to deal with Heartless called Invisibles. They are very obnoxious because they have a DM of their own. Uh, which will just make them invulnerable and also deal a lot of damage. Uh, yep, they're both of the remaining are, ones are using it. Pretty much, you just never want to see them use that attack. And uh, they love to use it. <laughs> so. so we do what we can to avoid letting them use it, but it, sometimes it's just kind of down to randomness. There, the way they grouped up was not very conducive to me catching them, but I also don't think I played it super well. Now we just need to move around an invisible path. Deal with some angel stars next, which are capable of duplicating themselves, so we really don't want to see them do that. These poor... Nackleys. I just I keep sending them to their deaths. Now they'll never become Garganackles. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, this. Okay. That one was just being a little obnoxious, but it's fine. I'm standing right here because I'm going to open this chest for an elixir and then need to move in uh, this direction. So it helped line up my camera. I'm now going to use a uh, cottage, which refills the entire party's health and MP. There's actually another one in that chest that just passed, but we don't need it. And now I'm going to fight a behemoth again, but now rather than being considered a boss, this is kind of considered a normal enemy, which makes it susceptible to gravity. So we're going to spam a bunch of gravities, which is, again, percentage-based health, uh, percent of current health. And then we want to have Goofy give us an MP gift, so that way we can use an Ars Arcanum and hopefully knock the boss down. Even though, like I said, it's not technically a boss anymore. There we go. My, uh, my, my bosses, my bosses, my bases are going a little slower now because my Nackleys are level 13 and the things I have to knock out that are Let's Go Mons are like 30 to 40 now. <laughs> yeah, but surely the Miascarata can handle everything, right? It can. It takes a while. <laughs> it can. It's, it, it's doing its best. Yeah. All right. Switching that Raven's Claw back to Ray of Light because we need to have as much MP as possible since we're about to use Simba. Uh, Simba is extremely useful for the next fight we're going to be doing. We have to effectively enter the portals of any worlds that we did not seal the keyhole for, any worlds we didn't complete, which is Olympus Coliseum and Atlantica. Technically, 100 Acre as well, but you always have to go to 100 Acre. So here's the Olympus Coliseum one. We use Simba, and then we're going to use two ticks of Simba to stun the enemies and reset their attack animations so that we have just enough time to get a fully charged Simba roar off. Ow. This should give us just enough time to get a full roar. There we go. And now we do two more to finish off the remaining enemies. Simba, like your magic, is based off of your maximum MP. Um, Ow. His damage is based off your maximum MP and also the ability cheer, which we have on two of our party members. And now we're going to go to the Atlantica portal and spam a bunch of magic. For five fires for each of these. What? Okay. And then a couple of gravities on these enemies before using fires on them. <laughs> I forgot that the poison base has a small rev of room on top of the big rev of room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a nesting doll of car. Right, that's this, so this good. Went fine. I was thrown off at first. I was like, wait, why is he sending the big car out third instead of last? No, it's, <laughs> it's a little car. Now we're heading into the Hall of Bastion portal, and this one we have to deal with invisibles again, which means it sucks. All right. Third car down. Two yep, more to so go. That one is just DMing, and there was nothing we could do about it because it just ignored our gravities. Now we get some more backstory. Everyone loves backstory. Don't target the chest. There we go. Another mega elixir here. Oh no, just a regular elixir on that one. And uh, we're going to go into Chernabog now. So this is our first 
fight we're doing while flying. We're going to just try to avoid damage whenever possible, but we do have access to Leaf Bracer, which is an ability that uh, makes it so that if, as long as we're curing, we uh, won't take damage. So that way we can always guarantee get our heal off. Very useful ability. And we're going to use it here to avoid dying during this firewall attack. Ooh, my damage is real bad here. That's not good. I think I got unlucky patterns and I think my party members weren't helping much. I'm going to actually use an arrow here because I'm very worried. So you ideally want to kill this boss before he does that second flame wall. Um, but I, not much I could done, I could have done about it. Maybe just had some better attacks or something. But Ideally, on my end, cutscene skips actually skipped cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now I equip Super Glide, which we get only this late, finally. Otherwise, we would use it a lot more. Um, but it's a little faster than dodge rolling. And I'm into the uh, kind of hardest section, final rest. Good luck. Thank you. Hardest section for regular Heartless, at least. Goofy, thank you. Uh, no, I didn't not want to fall off. I think it was okay. Yeah, okay. So we need to throw a Mega Elixir, get into a position over here, and we're going to use a bunch of Faragas on the Dark Balls. And then uh, we basically have to take out two waves of Heartless, and then we're going to use Simba to take out all the rest. If we do it right. Which is a big if. That was good, though. That was a good start. None of the Dark Balls trolled us. So we want all of the uh, Invisibles to group up over here. Ooh, that was a little close. All right, at least one of them DM'd, which means I can kind of wail on all the rest. Two of them DM'd, it looks like. Don't DM again. Thank you, Goofy. All right, I need both party members alive and I need three MP, so we have that. I need Those are the conditions I need in order to summon Simba. And I need to summon Simba as quickly as I can after they're invisible. I would have preferred him to be closer to the door. And now I am holding triangle and just going to release it every time the bar is completely full. And if all goes well, we should kill the next five waves of Heartless with Simba. Goodness. Yeah, and they are very powerful Heartless that are extremely obnoxious. We only barely have enough Simba to make it happen, too. Uh, if we look at the orange MP meter, it's just long enough for us to start this last charge. And we are good. Nice. Sweet. Okay. We're out of final rest. I have another uh, menu to do. Second to last menu of the game. I'm five seconds ahead right now. I've been bouncing back and forth. Uh, that should be. So we are going to switch this back to Raven's Claw. We're going to give Goofy Ray of Light for more MP uh, so that hopefully he can give more to us. And then we're going to put on Air Combo Plus and MP Rage, refill our stats, and go ahead towards uh, the final fights. Now, final fight still means 10 minutes, but... <laughs> <laughs> candy should be over there. Be a large candy. There's going to be some medium candies I can pick up, then a bunch of real candies. A large. <clears throat> All right, Ansem 1's up first, and he's really tough. Uh, I, the trick is I want to keep him trapped in the top left corner of the room if I can. Um, 
Um, and use Ars Arcane on pretty much whenever he summons his Guardian. I was hoping to deflect that. That's fine. We never want to see him uh, use the submit attack and actually land it on any of our party members. And we want, yeah, Goofy to just constantly give us MP. All right, so he's using submit, and unfortunately, he's running around, too. Thankfully, he didn't hit anybody with it, so that's good. Oh, he went for it again, and he hit me. That sucks. Thankfully, we can use the iframes from the first half of ours. But I need more MP. Yep, the freeze sucks. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, definitely delaying some things. He's going to do it again, and he's too high up for me to reach, unfortunately. Oh, come on. Just pick up the item. Pick up the item. Thank you. Okay. Not a very good fight, but we got through it. I have one final menu, and then uh, we're heading into no more menu territory. Um, so first, I want to put Goofy Tornado back on, and then uh, we're going to... Take out all of the Mega Elixirs and Elixirs that we've been stocking throughout this run. Uh, oh my God. How does that count as running into a wall? <laughs> use a cottage to refill the party's MP or uh, HP. I did not want to land up there. It's fine. If I do this right, I can kill this boss very quickly. Oh, I'm not doing it right. Maybe we're still lucky. Yes, okay, we still got it. Now I need to throw an elixir because nice. we're going straight into Ansem 2. Ansem 2 is a very long desperation move. I'm going to try to skip. Uh, but also, it's extremely easy to die in this fight. So we're going to try not to do that. Uh-oh. That's not what I expected him to do right there. I thought he was going to charge. I'm going to have to use an extra elixir for safety. There's a candy around here somewhere. Okay, so now he's going to pull his guardian back. And he's probably going to DM here. And there's not much... Yeah, nothing I could do about that. Getting a... Uh, yeah, getting grabbed there by the submit attack is 100% uh, my fault. I just thought he was going to charge, so I went with a guard. And that makes it pretty hard, if not impossible, to get the DM skip, or just down to luck at that point. All right. So we had to eat one DM. Oh, well. Someone was asking why I don't use the last bash in ours. I will very situationally, but almost always I don't. It's because the last one uh, will often knock enemies further away, and it will. Um, oh, it also just has a longer animation, but it does the same amount of damage as all the rest of it because we're at the damage cap. It kind of is funny because in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, we also don't use the last hit of ours. But for that, it has to do with uh, a concept called revenge value. So it's just different reasons. If I run into one more Axu, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> they're green. They're dark green. And, and they're small. Dark grass. Yeah. Okay, this should be the last amount of candies I think I need to get. I, I think I think there's a degree where my overcautiousness is too overcautious. It's like the, the same reasoning why I'm... Uh, why I'm not using a finisher in these uh, flying sections. It's because uh, the finishers actually were capped out on damage. So it actually doesn't matter. There's a candy there. Yeah, so it doesn't actually matter whether he's finisher and it just has a longer animation, so... 
Now we have to fight a bunch of shadows. We're going to use ours. Oh, wow. That was pretty good. I need to use an elixir here. Oh, I'm low on elixirs. I forgot. Because I had to use an extra one in uh, Ansem 2. Uh, that should be fine. All right, I'm not very good at the artillery fight here. I might be dead here. No, we're good. A little close. Yeah, so ideally you want to do this without uh, getting knocked back at all. But I am not good at it. I think that's an ether, yeah. There we go. I decided to go pick up that mega ether because it will help. These should be medium candies. So now we want Goofy to uh, give us as much MP as possible here. Okay, I'll take that, Goofy. Okay, time to use more candies here. So I actually want Goofy to be pretty high health here because uh, he will hopefully use Tornado a lot on this next boss, and it'll actually deal quite a bit of damage. So I'm even going to use Arrow on him. And then on myself. Okay, I have over-leveled myself to level 73. Surely I'm okay. I believe. I will no longer grab candies. I will have the map up just in case, but... Got two bases, and then two major fights. Okay, I'm also trying to use arrow right before I'm about to get hit whenever possible, because uh, it'll cancel out like half of the arrow animation. I could have gone for a finisher there, but I didn't want to risk it. Uh, let's use a Mega Elixir. Should have healed Goofy before I did that. Ugh, that might have been a bad Mega Elixir to use. Oh, well. And now we have Invisibles to deal with. Which means randomness. Hooray! Yeah, and unfortunately they were mean. And decided Andre. to DM. All the invisibles were mean in this run. <laughs> wow, they were very mean. Dude, there's so many still alive. P please target the other one. Yeah. Dude, they're so mean. Stop being mean. Oh, I forgot to change my moves because I know I learned a couple of moves. Jeez, that was bad. Oh, well. All right, so PB is unfortunately probably dead. <laughs> That's okay. I'm also... If you notice, I'm hitting things at the ends of every one of these fights in order to just keep building up as much MP as possible. I'm going to use my last elixir. This is the last fight here. But uh, I still have another game after this, so... We won't be calling time or anything. I'm just going to be switching over to it as quickly as I can. I have so many cutscenes. The good news is the last base isn't too far from one of the centers that I activated, so... Shouldn't take too much to get to it. 
tunneling. And the moves. Come on, Goofy, keep using Tornado. Ah, this jerk. And that's it for that game. And now, nice. gotta switch over. Hold on. We bring this audio back. We get rid of you. We go to here. <laughs> I move over here. I got so much to do. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't play the thing. Uh, we, we put this up, get rid of that. Okay. Oh man, hold on. Wait, I got, I got more. <laughs> Switching over was hard. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I gotta switch my notes over is the problem. And I gotta close the other one. Okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> uh, 0 0.2 uh, is a video game. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I would have never known. Yeah, so th this game... Um, this game was kind of like a little tech demo before KH3. Um, I hope I'm in the right spot in my chair. I think I am. Uh, it's a, an Aqua story that's kind of a prequel to KH1, kind of a sequel to BBS, um, kind of a prequel to KH3 as well. And uh, basically, I'm. it's pretty short. My PB is 2302. In practice, I think it's been more like... Uh, 25 minutes for a lot of my runs. So where are you at, Keys? Because now I actually have a second. <laughs> the end game uh, of Cage I'm, 1 is just so much. <laughs> I'm doing the let's go part of the fourth base. Okay, out of five? Yeah. All right. So we got five bases, then the two fights at the school, which there's so many cutscenes that I'm going to be super slowed down. <laughs> Oops. No. All right, I have two different shadow fights at the beginning here. Uh, one, one of you want to attack me? Yeah, counter blast is kind of our best way of dealing with them right now, but it also relies on shadow RNG, which is awful. Also, you're going to see me fail a lot of cutscene skips because the cutscene skips are different <laughs> between like every Kingdom Hearts game. Um, but this one has a lot more, like, kind of neat platforming stuff to it. And uh, some interesting fights. I'm trying to bait all the enemies closer to me. Uh, we did not get super lucky. These shadows take two hits to die a piece. All right, starting starting the boss of the fourth base. Alrighty, who's taking her sweet time and sending out her Pokemon? <laughs> So a lot of the beginning of this run is just kind of like relearning abilities you had at the end of BBS. Um, which means a lot of cutscene skipping for me. <laughs> uh, but we do have some cool new things. Like we can ride on blizzards here, which is super neat. No, I turned around. No, what happened? How'd I do that? Um, yeah, we can ride on blizzards which we will be using a few times. And we have a combo master, so we can just start combos and uh, finish them even if they don't hit anything, which is handy for some movement skips and also handy for dealing with some of the sections here. What I need to do now is uh, activate four gears um, that have these little unskippable cutscenes, but reform the world and or how we get our memories back and our abilities back. So now I just got the ability to double jump. Like that. And we're 
gonna fall down here and do one, two, three, attack, finisher. I was hoping to get an MP drop from that uh, street light, but I don't think I did. All right, so we took a death there, but that was kind of on purpose. Uh, <clears throat> there's my max revive. There's a reason we picked these two games to combine, by the way. Um, there is a synergy between these games that people in my chat will definitely be familiar with, but not everyone would be. Hello, jump, please. Uh, and I'll talk about it at the end of this one. Oh, I, I failed that movement skip. Okay. That's fine. I thought I might because my positioning was slightly off. This one should work. Yeah, there we go. No! Oh, okay, well, mess that up. We need to get to the finisher on this gear in order to activate it. That's okay. This one gives us the ability to air slide, which is a dash. My hands are feeling it, Keys. <laughs> are you feeling it now, Mr. Hobbs? Yeah. <laughs> Jump, please. There we go. Okay. How's your boss going? Or did you already finish? Uh, I I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm about to get on the car. Something about being supremely high leveled and having fighting moves has been very bad for us. Oh. It's almost weird that grass doesn't resist fighting because have you ever tried to punch a plant? No. It, it really no. doesn't like care. I missed. Oh, he used a dumb move? Do we live? Well, that's not good for us. <laughs> I think we're dead. Oh no. Oh, he shift geared again. Please. Please. Oh, I can't pause that. All right. I have a boss that I'm really bad at. This is like one of the worst ones in the run for me, but. Oh. Yep. Yeah, okay. Bosses in this game are really difficult. Um, Because That's you need to get these uh, things called situation commands. Uh, which are really big magic attacks. And sometimes I just don't get the ones I need, and I don't know why. Like here, I was supposed to get a Blazaja and a Faraja, and I only got a Blazaja. And I don't know why. Um, so what we're going to do is another Shot Lock. And hopefully this finishes the boss. So, Good. big problem here. Oh, oh, it ate my input. Oh, huge. We're dead. Oh, no. I wanted I wanted to revive, but uh, it didn't let me because I... Uh, uh, no. Dang. No. Like, I, I, I'm actually alive because it used the wrong move for some reason. Oh. But yeah, so... So, silly thing that the game of Pokemon has done since Gen 5 is if you use an item on something that can't use it, it'll still take your turn. Oh. Now, the problem that we have here is uh, I don't see a universe where I survive. Like, regardless. Unless for some reason it just decides to shift gear again. Which, this is rough. Yeah, we lose. Uh, I have to redo the entire base. Oh, that really sucks. All because I missed, by the way. Oh. Uh, I'm mm. doing some platforming skips. Uh-oh. Uh, grab the ledge? Thank you. Okay. Basically, I want to avoid using activating these mirrors, which is kind of the intended mechanic for getting through here, as much as I can, because they're kind of slow. I will have to use one. Uh, but for most of this, I'm just going to be air sliding, double flight, or double jump into another air slide. And then for this one, we just go straight to the end by air sliding over and over and over again. Okay, well, the good, the good news is I was wrong. We don't have to redo the let's go part. We have to oh, redo the good. boss, obviously. Okay. That is significantly better, though. 
right, we're going to handle this boss a little differently then. That miss was terrible. I still have to go for that move, to be clear. So if I miss right. again, I'm just dead again. But, but maybe you can, you know, revive or uh, heal or whatever if you need to. Mm -hmm. All right, now Aqua's going to fight Aqua. Okay, she uses different patterns. Uh, and I have to, I don't know this run that well yet, so I have to look at my notes sometimes. That's a, the wrong thing. I did not mean to cure there. That is really unfortunate because I needed that MP. <laughs> I just accidentally was holding L1 a little too long. Uh, Kiraga is bound to X, which is the attack button. And uh, so holding L1 for the shortcut menu just, yeah, unfortunately made me cure. Uh, hopefully I get my MP back before I need it. Which would be at the end of this next set of rooms. We're going to fight Aqua three times total in this run. They're all in this section. Okay, it looks like we are going to get our MP back in time, so that's good. Mitigates the mistake we made. All right, I'm going to try. If I can get one more turn off here safely, I'm going to use this X accuracy so we can't miss. He crit. That's not good. All right, well, there goes our uh, using our turn. Heal okay, again. That whiffed. Please, please don't crit. So I was only supposed to use one Faraga. That's why. Okay. That's fine. We're not down any uh any MP because we made the mistake earlier. Oops. So now I'm actually going to intentionally run myself out of MP because oh, this is weird. You're normally supposed to run out of MP right there so that it comes back in time for what you need. Uh, I also did that Thundara or Thundaga because I needed to deal some hits. This game has uh, what are called situation commands, the Blizzara Bl or Blizzaja Faraja stuff I was talking about in that first boss. Um, and situation commands are those little arrows above the command menu right now. And they are uh, based on how many, like, kind of hits you've dealt within a short period of time. And so we want to get into the Spellweaver command style here. And that's why we needed, uh... Why we needed to, like, build up the extra hits. If everything goes well here, we can, uh... Ooh, I, I did not do that right. It's fine. That's not I'm great. just mashing A right now, because I'm fully set up, so I don't see how I lose from here unless I severely miscalculated how much damage I do. And by severely miscalculated, I mean, like, I forgot to use, like, two items. Why are, why are my attacks just, like, not happening? Very weird. So I did not want to see this attack, but that's okay. Okay, it took two tries, but she's down. So I have one more base when this, when this cutscene's done. And then uh, I have to go to the school and deal with more cutscenes and two more fights. <laughs> it's the cutscenes that are dragging me oh, yeah. really slowly right now. I'm about halfway through my run. Yeah, you're going to finish. <laughs> These cutscenes are killing me. All right. So we got to use the blizzard for movement again there, which is cool. I always like when we get to do that. It's a very neat thing. Uh, I'm going to stand on the save point to get my MP and focus back. Uh, I only wanted to use two thunders there. 
So now I got to move through this forest. It's got a lot of like kind of wonky movement to it and I'm not very good at it, but we're going to do our best. Okay, so far so good, honestly. So much talking. <laughs> okay, I definitely did this wrong. But we're going to hope that we can make this work. Oh, I needed to get to 28 there. Very unfortunate. So ideally the boss would die in that shot lock, but it, the shot lock would be a multi-part shot lock. So we're just going to have to wail on him now and hope. Very close. Okay. Yeah, I did. I barely messed up my angle. Uh, so I wasted some focus meter. Uh, I, I'm not going to really have time to explain all the mechanics of this. Uh, if you saw BBS when we did that... Uh, it's very similar mechanics for a lot of it. Oops, I forgot about that. I'm still at the fourth base, by the way. That's how long these cutscenes are taking. No. <laughs> if only that game had a skip cutscene option. I know. <laughs> wait, it does. No, no, that can't wait, be right. Wait a minute. <laughs> if it if it did, you'd be skipping the cutscene. You're you're right. Heck. Yeah. All right, I'm into my next fight, which is going to be three Faragas, two Thundagas, and then a Thundaja. Should hopefully, uh, hopefully take it all out. That did not kill everything. Wait, why fly what is there? alive? No. What? A lot of things are alive. I think a, a lot of my Thundagas missed. It's fine. I flew to the wrong place. No, it was a better place to fly. I I couldn't help it. I, I flew towards Larry. I missed him. <laughs> I have to fly above Larry. Oops. Please move, Aqua. Okay. A lot of air sliding through this section. There we go. A lot of time when we're using this magic, by the way, it's just uh, to get these thorns out of the way. Oh my gosh, please. Using a cure there so that way our MP comes back in a favorable time. All right. So this next fight is going to open with a shot lock. And then we're going to do Blazaga into four Faragas. Hopefully that'll build up the situation commands we need. I'm on a mountain. Okay, we only got one situation command for some reason. I'm supposed to get two there. Gonna do another shot lock because I don't know what to do. Need the Faraja. Okay. Improvised a bit and worked out. I have two fights left. I am just now getting to the fifth base. <laughs> oh no. The getting lost with the candy and yeah. dying really slowed me down. Yeah, I think so. If even one of those didn't happen, uh, it would be it been a, a little closer. better. Yeah. yeah. Um, my last two fights are a little spread out, to be clear. Saja. 
All right, then we want one, two, three, fire, fire. And then we want jump, blizzard, blizzard, one, two. Then I need to throw an ether. I did not mean to do a finisher there. That could be a problem. Also didn't mean to do a finisher there. Yeah, so the boss is now aggressive and I want it to not be aggressive. So I have to just wait and hope it's going to stop and it's not stopping. Which really sucks. Please stop being aggressive. Okay, thank you. Let me in the base! <laughs> it doesn't end. Uh, okay. This fight's going to be real bad now. So whenever the boss is orange and aggressive like this, it uh, takes reduced damage from fire. Which is very annoying. So I needed to just stop doing that so I can finish it. Okay, it's just not going to stop anytime soon. Okay. We're just going to wail on it instead. All right, one fight to go, but I got some movement to get up to it, and it's a pretty long fight. By I'm the standards still not of this in run. the fifth base. <laughs> uh, okay, that blizzard was bad. It's fine. I do think, for the sake of time and for the sake of the next show, I should probably stop when the space is done because the amount of cutscenes be between now and then right. the second to last fight and then the last fight <laughs> and then the cutscene after that before you can call time on the category. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll leave that up to you when we get to that point. So. I'm still not in the base, huh? <laughs> We're still talking. <laughs> We're roasting marshmallows in front of the door. All right. I'm about to enter my final boss with some really sick music. Uh, I am very bad at this boss, but the main goal that I have for it is I just don't want to have to sit through its long desperation move where I can't do anything. To, I can't do any damage to the boss. So we'll see how that goes. All right, first things first, we start off with a max shot lock, but we only get one excellent on this one. Uh, I did that combo a little wrong, but hopefully it's fine. I need to find, where are my boxes? There they are. I thought you just asked, where are my boxers? No. <laughs> no, I did not. Uh, I was definitely supposed to get some MP. Uh, please use Blizzaja. Thank you. So we're going to just try to use a ton of situation commands on this boss. And then shot lock whenever we use them as well. Oh, I got I'm stunned. A, okay, good. Got defeat nine more. My Nackleys are dead, but they would just die constantly anyway, so this is just slow no matter what. Okay. So this is w about where we need to get as much damage in as possible or we're going to deal with uh, the attack I was saying I don't want to deal with. Okay, I get to I get to mash through a cutscene, and I'm on the side. boss of the last base. Nice. I'm stuck inside the stupid cyclone that is this boss, which sucks because I wanted to use a shot lock. Yeah, we're probably gonna get DM'd. Oh, maybe not. Get ready on time for me. Oh no, I messed up. Time. <laughs> I messed up, but I'm done anyway. Yeah, it worked out. 
The good news is, keys. I can at least mm -hmm. like show people the lore of why I picked these two games. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> while you're doing your, your boss. Basically, this cutscene coming up. Uh, I need to watch. Unfortunately, we have to watch a chunk of it before we can actually get to there. But uh, the link between this and KH1 is Mickey Mouse. He's in both games. Um, and the end of KH1, you seal this door in front of you and have uh, Mickey is on the other side of it and he seals the door. Did he crit? Oh, no. He did. Okay. Okay. I was like, that doesn't math. Oh, okay. Good. Like, I thought you died. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm close to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I keep getting crit. <laughs> Not even a high crit move. No. Just unlucky. Yeah, Mickey on uh, in KH1 is on this side of the door that he's he's in in this uh, cutscene right now. However, there's an aspect about Mickey that is different when you see him in KH1 compared to how you see him now. And uh, I need to I need to pad a little bit. This cutscene's longer than I wish I would like it to be. And then we could go solo to just your game feed once we get through this. But I guess if anybody saw the tweet, they already I know where I'm going. I got crit again. I'm dead. No. How? Uh, no. Uh, all right. A different plan. <laughs> well, we we don't set up at all. We just go. Here comes the the reason. Mickey doesn't have a shirt in KH1, but he does right now. So Nomura made a cutscene to make him lose his shirt. <laughs> Incredible. Because <laughs> he had to explain that, of all things. Incredible. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me, let me think how shirtless how I Mickey. back from this. All right, Don't miss! Oh, come on! You can absolutely go just to your game feed now. Okay, come on. There's no way. There's no way it happens again, right? You're not going to crit me a third time. Right? Right? Friend? <laughs> just need this one attack. And I can probably improv from there. I had a plan and everything, and you crit me and ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He charmed! Why are you charming? <laughs> stop! Stop! All right, just kill him over this. Oh, no. My strat's out the window. I'm just going to hope. <laughs> oh, this is absurd. <laughs> All right, I haven't used this yet. We're, we're Terra typing because I'm tired of getting play roughed and tired of getting hit. I shouldn't have needed to do this, but here we are. <laughs> Two crits, um, three X attacks, and a charm later. I don't know what to do. We have a flower on our head. Very good. I should have just used Flamigo. Mi amigo. <laughs> I need to pull up the uh, stream. I was going to say, like, next time you're in a cutscene, uh, share your screen for me, but... Oh, I can still probably do that. might find you. Let's see. Might be able to. Okay, I got your game. Too. I got it. Okay. We're good. I can't believe he did this to me. Even with all oh the extra boy. candy. I can't believe how many times he got crit. Like, it's absurd. No. 
don't mind me just staring at this three shot that should have been a one shot. <laughs> no big deal. Ow. He ran me over. He put the mist, the, the misty battlefield up and he just wheeled it away. That also, I just realized his tires are umbrellas. Oh, they are. <laughs> I didn't notice that either. All right, for the sake for the sake of time and everything, and not <laughs> having to sit through 500 more cutscenes because I severely underestimated how many cutscenes there were in this game, I, we're gonna call time as soon as the screen fades. Okay, that sounds time. good to me. Yo, GG. GG. I can't even blame not finding the candy for 10 minutes. This is just 5,000 cutscenes. <laughs> uh, still, I had a good time. Uh, this is a lot fun. of fun. Yeah. And uh, we have one more, one more episode of the month-ish of Kingdom Hearts and Pokemon uh, left for you all next week. And I believe, you know, you know what? I'll leave it as a surprise. I'll leave it as a surprise for now. Uh, if you want to find out early, then follow Keys, uh, twitch.tv slash Keys around. Follow me, jobs 296 uh, We have been streaming or learning these games like and talking about them on stream and stuff. Uh, and I'll definitely be streaming my, the next one I'm learning. So, yeah, everyone uh, be sure to tune in for those. And uh, with that, don't go anywhere because Hotfix is not over for the evening. We've got How to Train a Speedrunner coming up next with Church and Sarge. So please stay tuned and uh, we'll... Yeah, they'll greet you on the other side of the break. Well, one, one, one more thing, Hobbs. Mm -hmm. Quick question for you. Do you know who Owen is? No. <laughs> Owen 5, that's me. <laughs> 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 we'll catch you all next week. Bye, everyone.